I just took it out because uh, towards the end we we were like, should we keep that in? I just want I just want to say it because it's really interesting how it he is. got the job after we talked about it, but we never put it up. Well, yeah. So yeah, today I got this. Um, I got a phone call and I didn't know who it was from and I didn't answer. And then I thought it was like my pharmacy and I was like, maybe I should call that number back. And I called it and it was this woman. She's like, hi, um, I saw you on um, like a casting agency site and I think you'd be great for this role. We're uh -huh. shooting this short film for the uh -huh. Church of Scientology. I sent you an email what? and I'm like, um, okay. And I look <laughs> at the email and I pull it up and sure enough, she had sent me this email and it was an internal film for the Church of Scientology. No way. I don't claim That's this energy. Weird. I don't claim this energy. We <laughs> literally just talked like maybe like two podcasts ago. Went and did like detail about this, but like but, we, but we never we, we cut it we out. Got we got scared. Were like, <laughs> we got cold feet, and I cut it. I was like, don't even bother. We we we, we dove deep for like a good twenty minutes, and we just cut it out because we didn't feel comfortable. Like like we got scared in. that they were gonna like say something to us. And we and, got like, you know in we all were scared respect, something like this would happen. I just yes, can't, yeah, that all makes respect sense. to all religions and everything. And what was that? That was the church of Scientology. Okay, James. <laughs> okay, anyway anyways um so i get this call and then you know i'm like ooh, an acting gig and she's like church of scientology and at first i'm like what is this like a front-facing like commercial like am i like for she goes no it's an internal short film for the church and i'm like okay and there's a whole script and everything and at first i was like is this a prank no it was real and it was like this sketch and she sent me the whole sketch and I'll give you kind of the gist of it. It's like, I'm like a new um, uh, account executive working at this big company. I'm next to the CEO and he tells me to do something and I like play it off like it's not a big deal. And then I go and I meet with somebody else and they're asking me about it. And I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. And then the boss gets mad at me. And then I look to the camera and I'm like, and that's why you should always listen to the boss and act fast. Like, Why do I feel like we're going to get in trouble? Like, I feel like we're all going to get phone calls tomorrow. No, I mean, it's a private internal film. And R I, R I, I would never. You see me in the next commercial for the <laughs> Church of Like, the rate was good. I'm desperate. Right. I'm How desperate. much do you think the rate was? To uh, do a, to to do do a, a day. Film? But they said, the, Five. so it was said yeah. this was like, there was a day rate. And then it said it was a minimum of seven to 12 days. But the script was like less than two pages long. Um. Couple uh, thousand, I'd say uh, five thousand. I'd say I'd say I'd say eight hundred bucks a day. Eight hundred bucks oh, a day. I th I'd say total. Oh no. Well, so then I did the math. Four hundred dollars a day okay. for seven, six to twelve days of That's shooting. I even got on my calculator get it. and I was like, "Hmm." Now you put it in your calculator. To I did because at first I thought it was like four hundred dollar day rate. That's a one day thing because I saw the script and then I looked back more at the email and it was getting a little bit more specific. But I was like, uh, "So are you doing it?" No, I polite. Fully, Matt, we need the experiences to bring him back to the pod. Come Here's on. the thing: it's internal. No one's gonna see it except the Church of oh, Scientology. Inter that's what we meant by internal commercial. Yes. So they would like play that for for their class or like their school or whatever that they have, program yes. that they have. Whoa! So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good rate actually. The fact that it's like a commercial no one's gonna see but them but then what if i started really getting hooked up i didn't join the church but i worked for they the go, church they, go, yeah. they have you sign a contract to like be in the commercial but you're signing your life into scientology i don't know yeah like i feel like that is bizarre i feel like they can't just grab anybody to do that right maybe i, I don't feel like know you got to be a member i think so well, but Matt, i think we should try just next time they reach out or maybe just reach out and just just ask for a little bit more details like hey where we're gonna be shooting at <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the location? Can I bring people? Can I bring friends? <laughs> hey, I'm doing a little BTS. Can I can I bring the? <laughs> They're like <laughs> right. Will I come back? <laughs> will I come, will I come back? Uh, All right. Well, let's let's roll the intro. We have a very special guest today. Yes, we do. <sighs> let's just jump right into it. All man. right, let's go. It's coffee, coffee tall, tall, baby. baby. Welcome back to Zenny and Heath Unfiltered. Up in the right corner, we have Heath, who saw... Yeep, yeep. And in the, in the yellow, we have Zane Hijazi. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> and up in the concession stand, we have <laughs> Matt King and Mariah Amato. Woo -woo. Nice. Get, applaud, applaud. And then <laughs> for the showgirl... <laughs> <laughs> what do you call the girl that holds the number? Yet again, the card, the card round girl. two. <laughs> and for the card girl, we have Hidaya Hichazi! Woo! Round two <laughs> for Hidaya. 
Guys, we have Hidaya here today. If you didn't know, she is my little sister. We had her on here before, so she is a repeat guest. Our first, first, our first. double guest. Oh. Our yep. double Hi. guest. Yeah. Hidaya return. Oh, or Hidaya returns. <laughs> yeah, Hidaya just... strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> Hidaya return of the Jedi. <laughs> the, re the return of the hijabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for coming in. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. I, I, um, I threw her ass right on that plane. I was Honestly. like, we need a guest. Come on over. Oh, come so on that's over. what it was. You wouldn't just you invite You don't want to just see your little sister. No, no, no not it's really. business. Always We're business. She knows it. <laughs> She's like, how'd you think I got this car? Oh, yeah, she doesn't want to hang out with you either. Business relationship. <laughs> come out on the podcast, I'll buy your yeah. flight. Okay. <laughs> I'll, but, I'll be there. First but, class. Guys, we are in the presence of like a new Hadaya. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hedaya we're we're in the presence of a New Yorker. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can say all Brooklyn that. Bitch. <laughs> no, Brooklyn <I> bitch. Brooklyn bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, New York is really, it's so different than Florida. Like, obviously, like, it's a lot different than Florida. It's just like so fast. Yeah. Like, what you expected, or is it like. It's what I thought it would be. Like, I, ob I obviously expected that, like, it was going to be like completely different. Like, I've only been in Florida, and Florida is just so. So, oh, so boring. boring. There's nothing uh -huh. going on. Like, there's always something going on. And, the like, concrete jungle. Yeah, and like not having my car, like being able to drive, like it's also so oh. different. Like, I can't just go and get my things. I have yeah. to like, plan for it. Like, so we already, me and you already talked about this, but I do want to for for you to like just talk about the process of convincing our dad and your mom. To, yeah, how to, did this even you, go? Because when, when he because said it, I was like. They couldn't believe when I told them they could not believe they're like, wait, 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 wait. So the, so they're there with her, right? I'm like, no, she's out there by herself. They couldn't believe it. I didn't tell them anything more than that, but I wanted you to tell them. Because Zane had been making like escape plans for <laughs> He was like drawing up fantasies. He's like, what if I just go and get her and we leave and she never comes back? Like yeah. that's what we have to have, what we should do. Yeah, because in the Muslim culture, it's, you know, like not only are they very strict, but they want to keep their daughters as close to home as possible until they get married and and then they like kind of let the daughter go with the husband but like there's no time to like grow there's no time for you to like figure out yourself and how you are just just living by yourself and get to like experience the world and I feel like it's really important for every girl especially mm -hmm. That's Every Italian Muslim Catholic girl. culture too. Yeah, I was what? supposed oh, yeah. to do all that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You left the coop. <laughs> yeah. So but yeah. how did you convince them? It wasn't even like it was really. It was so fast. Like I don't even remember how it happened. Like it was. I actually remember, but like <laughs> I can't I remember, even remember. Exactly but I'll begin to tell you. Not, not to brag. <laughs> I know exactly what time it happened because that was like <laughs> everything. But like it was so late at night, and like Mama was just talking to me, and she was like, "What do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do?" And I was like. So Brianna's moving to New York. <laughs> Brianna's her best friend. Brianna, like, yeah, my best friend's moving to New York for like school. So I was like, and like me and her had joked about it because like she didn't have a roommate at the time. So like she was like, "What if you came with me?" And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, could you imagine? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, that would happen <laughs> when pigs fly. Honestly, so I was like, but then I was when like, Mama asked me, she's like, "What do you want to do?" I was like, "So Bree's moving to New York. At, like you know, Bree's going." And I was like, "She doesn't have a roommate. Like, what if I went up there?" And she like. She was just like, I like that. And I was like, what? What? I it's literally was chance. like, oh, Sorry, that bless makes, you. <laughs> that She's trying to hold it. The whole couch is shaking. He, yeah, he right couldn't now. believe, can't believe it either. <laughs> she was just like, I like that idea. Like, that sounds good. And, I, and she was just so supportive from that. And I was just like, wow. I, that's it. I, I, I couldn't I I believe I thought, it when she told I me that. I had like, I had like a whole like speech. Like I had like, like a, a PowerPoint. Plan. Like, I had like, a plan to tell her. And she was just like, yeah. But like, Convincing my dad was the that was the yeah. our dad that is the, 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 the hard one to part. get through. Yeah, he was he wasn't happy about it for right. the longest part, but he knew like it was something I was gonna do and like I was going to do it. Like I wanted to do it, and it was gonna happen. I think they I think and they he, saw that it was going to happen whether they liked it or not. Yeah, so, so it was either accepting it now or accepting it when me. you're gone. Yeah, and, right. And I feel like it will make your relationship with them even stronger because yeah. they gave you that like they're giving it to you yeah, that moment for here. you to shine. Mm -hmm. They took me and Bree up here in June to look for uh, for places. So like they drove up with us. They drove us back down. They drove me up here to move my stuff in. Like wow. they've been really helpful. Yeah, really helpful. that's and, good. And this was like a really hard move for Hadaya too, because like yeah. Hadaya loves 
loves uh, like our parents, like just yeah. loves them so much, loves them so much that she'll do whatever they ask. So that's why she's like, yeah, just been home, hasn't moved out because she just wants to do exactly what they, what they want her to do, and they, she respects uh, them a lot. So for her to like make that decision to go against what mm -hmm. they want her to do, was, and you're, like, are you huge. 20 yet? I'm 20. Yeah. Wow, 20. that's like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just such so a exciting. people pleaser, so like if I know like someone like won't like what I'm gonna do, right. it makes it really hard for me to go right. through. Right, I'm the same they way. They grow up so fast. I know. That's I just crazy. remember when like, you were getting you your first feel? call. Isn't that insane to yeah, no, watch? No, it's it's fucking. I like I, I I it sucks that I didn't get to be with her while she moved because that's a, such a huge deal, mm -hmm. such a huge deal. But I knew I knew she would like figure it out i knew she'd be able to make it out there did you take and offense though you were like new york not la i was kinda, I, I was oh, a yeah, little confused but, yeah but you, i think zane do you want i, I think yeah. i know why but do, do you want to like do, is there a reason why you, why do you think oh yeah the, you the thing is that you know i've asked you like so many times like yeah. oh come to la oh my you'll have a job like you would like you would 100 percent have a job very quickly and a good job if you were out uh, here what job a hijab? A hijab? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I I think the reason why Hidayah decided to go a different route is because you want to like you want to figure it out on your own. You don't yeah. want like to have your brother help you out. Yeah. Because I knew if I came here, I'd be relying on Zane. Like right. and he would just help me out. Like, right. If I was struggling, like he would just help me. So, yeah. Like, and you know uh, you like, can always go back to Florida. You can always yeah. come here if you need yeah. anything. Like it's like yeah. it's cool to like. But go you still out feel independent. Like, You're like I'm in my own place. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, have to exactly. like figure it out on my own. Like paying yeah. bills. Like just getting from right. A That's to why B, it's good like, you have a support system. Yeah, like Prove back home. Yeah. yeah, I think this year in New York is gonna like grow you so much. Like grow you like. I think it's definitely your scene. I think so. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it there, and I think once I get a job and like start working, I'll feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I'll just like really have like. So you've just been Netflixing. I've just been at home, like we've been like <laughs> getting. We've honestly been getting the place like situated to like she's been going out to like IKEA. She's been finding stuff. Like we've been finding like. Oh, IKEA in New York. <laughs> like, that sounds like a yeah, yeah. furniture it's, in New York in apartments. I'm like, how. how do you get shit up into your place? <laughs> yeah. Is there, is you, do you have an elevator? We don't have an elevator, but like, I'm on the second floor, so it's been really easy for us to move our stuff in. But like, we had to like ship everything to the place because like, yeah, we can't go and get it and carry it back by ourselves. Yeah. Do they so, at like, least bring it up to your room, no. or you have to like? Bring no, they it up leave yourself? it at the bottom. They leave it at the oh bottom. Oh my like, god! Floor. In, in New but York, <laughs> imagine I, I just that shit. Yeah. I, I <laughs> picture Hadai with the fucking like that big booklet of like directions <laughs> with the like that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to sit there for like seven hours no, that was, the chair. No, that was us. We built like our mattress. We're not on the mattress. The <laughs> They're sewing. <right? laughs> stuffing, stuffing it with fucking <laughs> <pockets. laughs> this is a mattress. No, we That's built the sorry. bed frame. We built the bed frame. We built like our like dining table. Like we got a dining table for like a small one that like rolls. We're gonna come over and be like. Cool. It's so fun to like start to decorate yeah, and like, like get your own place. Yeah. That's so but, like, fun. But like you're lucky if they they, they they at least bring it into the building. So like it's not sitting outside. Mm -hmm. like, it's inside the building and like. But Brie had to, like, the Ikea's 40 minutes from us. So, like, you're bringing something back, you have to Uber it back. And, like, and you know, you know, like, Ikea is only, like, what, three miles away and it's 40 yeah. minutes away? It's Everything's, like, two, three miles away, mm -hmm. but then it takes you, like, 40 minutes. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah like, everywhere. shopping, like, like, grocery it's shopping, like, you have to. Oh my god. Think about the trash in New York. That's what messes it's with me. Everywhere. You have all those people living on top of each other. Everyone has to dispose Let's of their trash. Let's enjoy it and, and not everybody has to take right. We're I'm just, just fucking New York. It's just no, because... it's a madhouse to me. I love the it, but I'm like bustle, baby. I've seen it all already. Like I've seen like I've experienced the shopping and bringing it back. Like I for I took advantage in Florida. Like mm -hmm. uh -huh. you don't pay for bags in Florida, but everywhere yeah. else you pay for your grocery bags. Yeah. yeah. Same for, here you for California. Do, yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, well, you, Florida. You took advantage of the parking lot, parking of that. <laughs> fucking parking lots. Because and we went shopping right before I came out here because I needed like shoes. And the first, like, we went to DSW first, and then another store. Both places, they said, "Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have bags." So oh. like, you're walking with your shoe box. <laughs> like, like, she's like this, geez. and I'm like. And they're like, "Is that okay?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? Is that okay? Like, what am I supposed to do?" I have to a say choice. To you? <laughs> no, it's not okay. But I'll bags, do it. Like, You're holding just... your scarf. No, they I was just about to say <laughs> the poor girl has to take off. <laughs> <laughs> and a knapsack on a stick. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like, uh, it looks called? like she's running away from a home. Knapsack. A knapsack. You never see a damn knapsack. No. It was just Winnie the Pooh who had one and we yeah. just rolled with it. Because how do you even tie that shit on a stick? Like, how does it even stay? It was a bandana. It was a bandana. Yeah, you but just kind of like. Get why couldn't Christopher Robin get that? <laughs> get that? Call him get out. those animals a damn backpack. His parents had money. They could afford all those stuffed animals. <laughs> they were rich, too. That's press of all <laughs> Or a satchel, something. something. Address it. Address it. <laughs> oh, my God. But, like, I would have paid for a bag, but they said they had no bags. So I was like... <gasps> So like we had to like walk with it back and it was so annoying like getting on the bus and like getting through the subway with it like going to She's a, she's already cheating the system. She no. she she's jumping over the no, thing no, at the subway station. No, 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 no. I don't lie, I don't lie. Can I tell you what happened? Yeah. Because it was literally my first time ever doing it. Like I don't I don't know why. Like I feel like I don't wanna do it. Like I don't know. Like I have the money to pay for it, I'll just pay for it. Like if I'm gonna do it, I'm not gonna like jump. But my friend will always jump, but she'll just go ahead of me and she'll just jump the turnstile. Cause like Everyone in New York does it. Like you're living there. Like it adds I did it up. once. I did do it once. It depends on the stop. So you're it, depends, yeah. it depends on the yeah, stop. Yeah, depends of where you are. Like if you know there's cops right over there, you're not gonna do it. Right. Yeah. But like even if there's just the worker in the box, they don't care. Or you just like, take yeah. the yeah. emergency yeah. exit. They don't, yeah. well, I, I was up in Harlem one That's time, and my buddy lived out there, and I'm like, oh, we we gotta see. And he goes, it's Harlem, and just hit the <laughs> yeah. emergency exit, and we just walk through, and it's like, boop, yeah. and then we just because it's not like they get commission for every person they stop. They don't fucking make more money. The only people who care are the cops. So there's no cops. But, like, when we were going to get the shoes that day, like, <laughs> she took us through one entrance, and I paid. She jumped it. I paid, and I went through. And then she's like, ugh, it's the other side. Ugh. With another set of turnstiles. So I was like, I'm not about to pay again. Like, I'm just not doing it. Like, so I jump. But because it was my first time, I didn't realize <laughs> how high I needed to bring my knees. Uh, and I, I didn't bring it. got caught to a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Because I paid on the that thing. That three fucking metal. I wish we could see. Like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I wish because I banged the hell out of my knee. And it was so loud. And there's this big blue purple bruise on my knee now for me. Like freaking karma. Because I paid the first time, but right, you no, did the you right did thing. the right thing. Is that you the only paid. time you jumped? That was the only time I jumped, okay. and, I, and I busted my knee. I <laughs> jumped once too, but it, it's cheap, so I was just like, whatever. <laughs> now it must be pretty crazy, you know, going to New York and like all the stimulation and like you know, there's people who are trying to like sell you something. Oh, people okay. are trying to perform for you. Did you uh, <laughs> have you learned to like toughen up and not realize that every you know you person who's talk. performing on the subway She's is listening a real to treat. every single mixtape? <laughs> oh, she would take it too. <laughs> Uh, yep. Oh yeah. Poor thing. So, uh -huh. Brianna was really clear with me about like how to act. Oh, she's kind of your guide. Yeah, uh, in because New York. She would, like good. she would go up to New York all the time, and like she loves it there. So like she was kind of like, because I have a staring problem. Like I like to stare at people. I'm a people, I'm a people, people watcher. watcher. I'm a people yeah. watcher. So like especially like on the subway, like. I'm just gonna oh my look god! There's so many people. It's the best. There's the so freaks. many people. There's so many freaks. So many freaks. There's so many weirdos. Mm -hmm. So many weirdos. But it, but like. I just like to watch, and Bree's like, you can't look at people for too long. Like, <laughs> yeah. they will take offense. Don't do it. And then I started noticing they were staring at me. So I'm like, how come they're allowed to stare at me? But, like, I can't stare back. Right? <laughs> no, like, I don't like, understand. To stare off? <laughs> She's like, you blinked. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I've just, like, every time, like, when we went to, like, Canal Street with her parents, so, like, down in Soho, like, we went with her parents, and, like, everyone was, like, everyone's trying to sell on that street like everyone is mm -hmm. selling yeah so like i just had to like you don't listen to anyone like you put your air, like your airpods in like you don't listen to anyone and you just and you can get scammed big time down in chinatown yeah. like mm -hmm. mike was on like oh, a, yeah. a date one time and this girl really wanted this purse <laughs> and then he goes all right i'll take the money you come with me the girl can stay he then followed this guy he gave him the money he goes you wait right here the guy's like i'll be right back uh, the uh -huh. guy never came back oh That's no sketchy. yeah the that, cool thing is you can bargain though. Yeah. Like whatever they're selling you on the street. I'm like, I only have two dollars. It's ten. Well, I only have two, so I'm gonna give you, do you two. Want it or not? I'm too yeah. scared yeah. to bargain. It's I just really, pay the so price expected. that they ask. They it's they very easy. It. Yeah. If you start walking away, they're like, What do you want? What do you want? And it was just like, No, it's fine. And it's just like Yeah. Mm. It's you very want it cheaper? Easy. You want it cheaper? Ten? Because they like, they're selling like, knockoffs. I'm surprised anyway. that because you're a people pleaser. I thought you just give them the thing money is, I'm a people pleaser when it's people I care about. Right. When oh, it's people I don't know, I don't really care. Right. I don't right, really right, care. Right, right, I'm the opposite. Right. People pleaser to everybody I don't know. Any Broadway? No, I haven't gone to see oh. Broadway. Oh, you should do that. I only went to Times Square oh, once since I've been. I'll up take there, you to some honestly. Broadway shows. Okay, when well, I come. you guys come up. That'd be fun. Yeah, we'll be in New York. We'll, we'll. You or you got to take us out. 
No, oh, I yeah, think it's still time. you guys taking me out because I don't know anything. You'll know, you'll so know the streets. <laughs> I'll know the streets. Yeah. Like, you get on the subway, she's like, we need to take the A train to the, <laughs> to the C. Yeah. Well, like, you just kind of look at the train station, you look at streets. Don't look yeah, at your dot. Yeah, also the streets, you look at the streets. make sense. Yeah, like, you kind of look at streets. The numbers like, and the street names, yeah. they all system. make sense. It's a grid system. I can't read, though. It's pictures for me. Wherever the dot is, I just got know I got to turn and then... You know? I like look at the location. Like I'll zoom in and see like what like though if like there's a Chase Bank. Or, like I'll yeah. walk towards mm -hmm. that. Like that's mm -hmm. how you kind of look. One thing that I hate about New York is the scaffolding. Oh, it's always there's no up point. The metal These buildings have like make it look like it's under construction and it's not. <laughs> yeah. They just do it. They just that do it for the like look. Conspiracy. It sounds oh. like the mattress firm conspiracy. Yes. Yeah. Sca oh, it? scaffolding businesses just like throw. Well, they do it sometimes. It's an insurance thing because they don't want anything falling off the building that will hit. Mm. The oh, person. Well, that makes yeah. sense. But right. there's nothing they, covering it though. Right. It, no, the scaffolding. What do you mean? There's nothing. Like there's, there's nothing. Like it. it does. Nothing there's stopped a, it from. So yeah, you know, some of it's like it's like. Oh yeah, no, you're right. There's a fucking roof but they're in everywhere. Yeah. And they lose the charm of so many of the buildings. Like mm -hmm. the flat yeah. iron, uh, iron building used to be that beautiful, you know, where Peter Parker worked at. Yeah, it's just scaffolding. But the thing it. is that there probably was so many fucking issues with people dropping shit and people getting hurt while walking that they probably had to do it. Where's the scaffolding in London? Like, where's the it scaffolding probably doesn't, in Chicago? Well, you, yeah, New York and London city. are two completely different places and completely different people. Well, Chicago, like. I don't see scaffolding. Chicago's, I, Chicago's like a really like clean, clean city though. Yeah, yeah. Very clean. Very clean. All right. I think scaffolding is it is crazy. it is crazy how different New York looks with all that fucking Ugh, piping and shit. Meh. Go to L M B pizza. Yeah, how much pizza have you eaten since you went out there? When her parents came up, he, her dad got like pizza like three times. <laughs> and we had like pizza in our fridge. But you love for, like, pizza. A week. <laughs> Cause he would just like order it and we hadn't finished it. And it was like, why are you ordering new pizza? Just like Warm up the pizza. If I was in New York, though. I would download Dave Portnoy's app and because he's reviewed like every single pizza place in L New York. Oh, oh yeah, no point. You can see where all the places he's rated. Have you seen those videos? He always runs into someone that's fucking crazy. Yeah, one videos. bite, everyone knows the rule. He never knows where he's at. Why does Dave Portnoy <laughs> always like? Yeah, we're on the corner of a uh, a uh, uh, fifth and uh, and like. 8th he just doesn't look like before like, he starts. You, you picked it. You picked it. <laughs> just look at it before you go out, Dave. <laughs> Well, I know Hidai right now is a job hunting, right? Yeah, I'm looking for jobs right now. What? You still staying in the, the confections? Yeah, um, for the most part. But, like, honestly, when I was looking at, like, I don't remember what site it was. But, like, I was looking at some website for, like, jobs. And, like, there were so many, like, other jobs that would pay so much more, mm -hmm. obviously. And, like, it was, like, office jobs, like, dental hygienist. Right. Or, like, something, yeah. like, small that, like, you don't even need that much education, like, more than yeah. high school. So, like... I'm like looking into that like that like would you rather be paid more or do what you love and be paid like you know normal mm -hmm. that's the number one question See, when life. I was living at home with mama paying the bills I would say something I love yeah but now that I'm paying the bills <laughs> it's kind of yeah. like money yeah, exactly. yeah. it's yeah. kind of about the money yeah. like okay it's mm -hmm. expensive like I guess have fun later right now you're young make as much money as possible like, I don't know like there's like there's still cool jobs like and I don't mind that kind of job like if mm -hmm. it's a nine to five like you're out by five and like you still have the rest of the day so like yeah, but you like confections. You like baking cakes. That's yeah, what like confections sweets, yeah. is. She's yeah, really good sweets. at it too. Like really, her shit tastes bomb. Did you hear time. that they are auctioning off Princess Diana's wedding cake? What? what? Like in the next wait. few? Hold on, wait. It's wow. still it's just it's in a, a freezer somewhere. Well, yeah. it's not it's not very edible. But someone does have a slice, and they plan on auctioning it off. How but did with, somebody know to keep that? That's pretty crazy that you have a that's slice of crazy. Diana's cake. case. I'm not up. surprised a slice of it exists because you know normally people have that the, weird custom where the they first. keep a slice yeah. of your yeah. first wedding yeah. cake. Yeah. But if someone was at the royal wedding and they were like, "I'm keeping this," oh, wow. I mean, maybe, you know there's got to be one person at the wedding that's like, "I shouldn't be here. I got. I, I just came with a friend. I can't believe I'm here." So maybe they but thought, now, they thought smart. Devin, correct me if I'm wrong. It's rumored that it's going to sell for just 300 euros. Don't you feel like, or wait, three hundred pounds? Three hundred pounds, Heath. Pull out your phone. Everybody, we're buying. Or wait, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have it. But I'm like, that's can we do cheap. a mukbang with it? <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck it. Oh my first. god, <laughs> we <laughs> die. Live it. <laughs> Leave so it to poison. like YouTubers to fucking. <laughs> we get haunted <laughs> yeah. by pr Princess Diana. <laughs> How long respect. ago was the Princess wedding? Princess Diana's on one end, Church of Scientology's on the other. <laughs> yeah, um, we we are fucked. Wedding probably happened early '90s. Oof. Early 90s because she died in 97. No, oh, you can keep that cake for much longer. Oh it's still fresh. But $2,000 is what it sold for? What? Uh, no. Wait, 2,000 euros? 
two that's like 560 yeah what that's it oh that's like that's what i get that in a freezer quick yeah and nobody has bought it no 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 it did sell oh it did sell i sold (laughs) that the person who bought it's like (laughs) where did the cake go (laughs) (laughs) honey (laughs) oh (laughs) not 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 the best but yeah (laughs) it's a little stale (laughs) what's your favorite thing to bake um i like brownies i like to make brownies (gasps) of course you You ever made blondies I don't like blondie. No? Like no. Wait, what's a mm. blondie? It's like cookie with brownie, right? It's a like brookie. a yeah. No, so it's like a it's a like a yellowy brownie. Oh, what is, what okay. is it made yeah. out of though? Like it looks like vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so oh. it's just vanilla powder basically instead of chocolate powder, and you make it into a or brownie is it both? form. Eh, well, let me look this up. Wait, what's the name I, of it again? It's blondie. 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 I've blondie. definitely oh. heard of that before. Yeah. I just didn't know what that was. I don't like them. Have you ever tried to like make really fancy desserts? Like, yeah, I did that like fancy-ish kind of desserts when I was doing for my culinary competition in yeah. high school. But do you like, ever do it on your own time? Like, just no. have fun. You have a no, night. No, because like, no. I can Vanilla actually get you chocolate. my cousin's information. She lives in the city, and she does. She has her own side business, but it's her main source of income. She does cakes, brownies, cookies, everything. Oh, the whole thing. And yeah. I, I knew a friend uh, from back home who worked at a bakery in uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So. You're good. Oh, you're I, fine. I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's awesome. I have too many cousins. <laughs> do you yeah, watch? They do everything. She also has a cousin that does rap. <laughs> that she does, lives on. A, that does. That rap. does rap. That's actually, a rapper. the 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 girl that I'm talking about with the bakery, her brother's a rapper. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of town. <laughs> um, do you like to watch the Great British Bake Off? No, I I didn't watch. That. I tried watching oh, it. Oh, I tried yeah. it. Yeah. You gotta go to Hope Bake Bo- like, Bo- and go to Carlos Bakery. Oh, that's my guilty pleasure. Just like. Smashing sponge, I'd ra- Rebecca. I'd rather watch a cake boss. That seems yeah. more. Yeah. Like what's your What's your favorite like dessert show? I don't have a favorite dessert show, but like I was watching like all those like Sugar Rush and like uh-huh. those sweet ones yeah. on like Netflix when they had them out because like we know Hunter Barch. <laughs> He's currently Hunter August, but <laughs> he rebranded. Very oh, good. Come on, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Got him, Mariah. For the Got first time, I stopped talking Honestly. and listened to a joke that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha Bro, you should have seen my face I was like <laughs> He said He said Oh, he rebranded He <laughs> rebranded <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm surprised I didn't say that Hunter first Hunter April And I would have been like Haha But like Hunter August yeah. Sounds like someone Who oh, really stepping it up Yeah Well, since we're talking about desserts We decided to play a little game with you Right now I didn't think we'd get to the desserts this fast, but since we have it, oh, sweet. Before we get to the game, we're gonna take a little quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Hubi. Yeah, baby. If you haven't heard of Hubi, it's the new invite-only Lincoln bio platform that we're all using on social media. Guys, if you follow us on TikTok, on Instagram, you see it in our bios. We use it all the time, and we love it. It's basically a one-stop shop for you guys. You click it, and it, you can stream our latest podcast episode, new videos, shop merch it's literally everything inside of one link in bio just literally click the link in our bios and you'll see everything that we're working on you'll see our youtube channel you'll see our podcast episode our coffee audio company everything everything's on there and we're not the only ones using it 50 cent steve aoki dylan francis all of our friends even sports illustrated swim has got this baby in their bio so the wait list is getting pretty crazy right now and the best way to get on the platform is to have a personal invite from an existing user but get ready for this one second Bring it out, baby. Just a few days ago, they sent us their link in bio Hubi merch box, which is sick. They have so much stuff in here. One sec. They got all the goodies up inside of there. In these boxes, they have their limited edition link in bio Hubi merch. You get a shirt, baby. You get a hat. You get golf balls. You get a lighter. The whole nine yards, baby. He, this is like, oh, that's, per- this is a perfect box for you, the, baby. Well, I had a little custom touch. The yeah, golf balls yeah, are for me. No, why don't you take that, baby? Because that, mm. that has your name all over it. It, it literally does. <laughs> And for this week only, they're going to be selling a limited amount of these boxes, which also gives you access to skip the line and join Hubi without having to wait. It's super limited and they're capping the drop at 50 boxes, so make sure to act quick. This is your chance to wear the same merch and use the same pages as all these uh, creators, musicians, artists, athletes, everybody. So don't miss out. So hit the link in the description or go to hoo.be slash explore to get your box right now. And make sure to keep up with everything Hubi's doing by following them on their Instagram page at hoo.be. 
Or make sure to check out the link in our bios to see what we're working on. Guys, it's so easy to use. It literally has everything that you're working on on one page. And it, it's easy to edit. It, it's very accessible. And it's easier than all the other ones that are out there right now. So thank you, Hoovy, for sponsoring our podcast and making it easier for everybody watching to keep up with all of our, you know, our adventures. There you go. We love you, Hoobie. Thank you so much. All right, so we have a little game for you today since you say that you are the queen of desserts and you know all desserts in the world and you know how to make desserts. We figured you One should be able to you should be able to name every dessert that we bring upon to you. What if it was desert or desert dessert? <laughs> She has to guess. Yeah, right. First question: <laughs> How's it smell? We zoomed yeah, in on desert. Is this a dessert or a desert? That's really funny. Change the game. That's hysterical. I like that. Okay, <clears throat> Hidaya. First dessert. <laughs> That's tiramisu. It sure is. It sure is. Good job. That's one yeah. of my favorite things to make. Oh, it's my favorite thing to eat. Ooh. We'd be a dynamic duo. Oh my God. Next one. For you. I wish I could see. Oh. They look like Oreos. Yeah, they, they look, like look like like ice cream sandwiches. Puffy Oreos. You that's a that's a macaroon. That's, is that a macaroon? Why Wait, no. Like all right, can I guess? Can I guess? If yeah, Hidaya Hida doesn't know it. Yeah, I'm guess. gonna guess like a like a uh, like a moon pie. Is it a close? Whoop, is it a whoopie pie? Very oh, good, Mariah. Oh, a whoopie pie. All right, Hida yo, Swissy, Swissy. <laughs> <laughs> giving you a run for your money, girly. All right, next next dessert. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know, but I would fuck that. Uh, <laughs> no, that looks terrible. God damn. <laughs> Pineapple. It looks oh, like a oh, donut. Yeah, looks it looks like it looks like a bunch of Krispy Kreme donuts, like oh, yeah, stacked on top. Like it looks like a croissant. It's it a, looks it's like a bunt. Is it's it a, a bunt? Oh, okay. Well, we, we were. <gasps> it's a cronut. Oh. Good job. Cronut. It looks like it's got nacho cheese dripping all yeah. over it. Hey, I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you got. It's those called. Already. It's cronut. Croissant donut. Oh, yeah. a cro I thought it was yeah. like Corona, and I was like <laughs> Corona. Corona. <laughs> all right. That was the place that um they were telling me about yesterday, the bakery. Yeah. That he showed me. Oh yeah. That he was the first person oh, they who made, made a cronut. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's why it was H in my head. H like, Hidai right now is trying to find the bakery that's right for her to work <laughs> at. If you guys know any bakeries in New York, please let us know. Mm. It could be like fudge. Or there like you go. Fudge. Is caramel yeah. fudge? Yeah, like that could be panucci. Or peanut butter. Ooh. That looks like panucci. Is it fudge? Oh, I, I don't think. I think we just want her sugar. to know because she works with chocolate. Just, I know, it, but like that's the e yeah. that easiest one. Uh, easiest does one that there. have THC in it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks I, like it has THC in it. I do not like fudge. It uh, is like too much. I know. I can only there's, do one little bite. Like, <laughs> fudge? Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. It's like, ones that was really good, like double dark chocolate. Oh, like you guys brownie. had a lot of fudge, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah that's like, all she does. Our, like, uh, they were known for fudge. Like, fudge. Like, people who could eat a milk chocolate bar, just like a Hershey's bar, like, what is Those wrong I with used you? to be, uh, as a kid, I ate I it a lot, but like now, really? Do you ever see those videos with the hard candy where they stretch it and then they break it on the table? Oh, Mariah, what is that? What is that? Awesome. I've never even seen but it doesn't that. even like I don't even want like hard candy. No, I, I wouldn't want to eat it. Make it. I want to make it. I want to be It's there. just sugar. You know what I just saw is like the new hot like dessert right now. We should probably try it. You take uh, a fruit. Bottle? You take a, a fruit roll up. Uh, what? And you you open up the fruit roll ups and you stack like five of them on top of each other and then you put it in oh, the freezer. Freeze Whoa. And then you take it out of the freezer and it like cracks Whoa. and it like shatters. Yeah, that's the new Everybody thing. Everybody says it's the sh it What do you mean shatters? Like flakes? Like yeah. It's just like like you like just it crunches. Like, yeah. like it's like a hard like it, it's lasagna. Like and it's, it's like thin. <laughs> it's enjoyable <laughs> though. I mean, it tastes the same. It's just frozen. Whoa! We should try that. On. I know. Let's talk about. Did He's you seen those see? Bottles. I don't know what I it is. I want to make it. Like I want to try it. I it don't know what people good. are doing, but they're He's... taking anything in a bottle, ranch water bottles, olive oil, anything in a bottle. And what are they doing? Are they I putting think in a putting corn syrup? And like they usually put like either like Kool Aid packages. Like someone did like the you know those like. Are they removing the sauce tubes? first, or are they? Yeah, like, they're usually making... empty bottle, and they oh, put okay. like corn syrup, oh. and then like. Do you know like those squeeze bottles? Like when we had as kids, like the like flavored squeezy, yeah, the yeah. gooey uh, thing. Yeah, they would squeeze that in there with the corn syrup and like freeze it. And when like they squeeze, they squeeze it out, it was like and they bite it. It was like really like it would mm. get like a nice consistency. Like yeah, it kind of looks like a little gummy, like yeah, a gummy bear. very gummy. Like, I, yeah. But like the ranch one, I was like, I haven't seen ranch. Yes, and it was the it was ranch. I've only oh, seen like no that's why I'm like wondering ones. like if they. Mur, I thought I thought it was just the I thought they were moving all the sauce out of each bottle and it j each one is just the same corn syrup like sugar. with a sweet something. I yeah. that's what I thought too until I saw the ranch. ranch it was pop? it was the color of this couch and she bit and it was the there was the seasoning in it and everything. Oh fuck! I don't know what. 
couldn't I couldn't figure it she out. She makes it with corn syrup, so it still get the consistency oh, to make wow. it. I had but no idea. Gross. I was like, how are they making this consistency? Mm, yeah. Wow. No, but the ranch sweet pops. Ones I, would try. I think that's a hot thing. Ranch pops. I would. I, I would, would suck on a lollipop <laughs> that's ranch. Yo, that's pops. fucking disgusting. Oh, like oh, a, a pickle, ketchup one. A pickle, that's like gross. a pickle it's ranch, gross. kind of double sided no. thing going on. There's a market. People love that. You know the you know the the mints that have like the little like bumpy things and they're like double sided. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. be like icy and then berry. Ooh. Ketchup and mustard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, a, a ranch and pickle. <laughs> oh wait. You just eat a hot dog like, and just They're super <laughs> savory. Bad. I think That's, we're on to something. Like food flavored mints. Yeah. Not mint, but. No, no, no. Food guys. flavored candy. No. no. There's people that would, I wouldn't want it, but there's people that would want it. Electric chair. <laughs> death to death, all of them. Death, death to them. Death to all of them. Gotcha. Shut these motherfuckers. I saw Guy Fieri make a, a, a hot pocket uh, croissant apple pie hot dog. And it wasn't that bad. It didn't look that bad. I saw it. Did you try it? Fucking no. amazing. It was a heart attack. No, that heart was attacks. pretty bomb. All right. All right. Next, next one. Dessert. That's mm. pineapple upside down cake. Damn. 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 I never Damn. Had that. I thought you weren't going to get it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pineapple. Know what they are. It's cake. <laughs> yeah, and it's upside down. down. Like, how hard is that? I one? wouldn't have been able to get any of those that just popped up. Oh, come on, those are churros. Okay, all right. Yeah, I know I we're getting a, a little easy ones. Don't get cocky. <laughs> I had a churro Ooh. at Seaside that was it was Oreo, and then the sauce they or the dipping they gave you was the cream. Mm. Oh, that's good. Wow. That would be good. That's, that's smart. smart. I want churros. I haven't had churros. Okay. All right, next one. Mm. It's an eclair. Very nice. good. I've never seen. That. Oh. I've never seen I've that. Never Baby, that's a it. that's a. That's a Neapolitan, yeah, oh, Neapolitan <laughs> trifecta. No, it's I've a seen, Neapolitan I've seen meringue pop. Yep, oh. mer yep. Is that it? No, famous name. There's a, there's, a, there's a famous name for it. Oh. Um, it's called a baked Alaska. Is that oh, what that is? That's yeah. what that is? I've heard of it before. Don't follow him on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's in jail, I think. <laughs> I, I, heard crazy. I didn't Sorry. know that's what oh, that really? was. Wait. Yes, he raided the Capitol. Yeah, he was a Vine. Remember? Oh, no way. He was one of the ones that raided the Capitol. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah, Viner. I remember yeah. him from Wait. Vine. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, he's yeah, in he's, jail for it? Oh, uh, my uh, God. He may be out. Because he po he was posting everywhere about it. So like every anybody that was posting about it, they just put him in jail. What a fucking idiot. That's crazy. I heard he's casting for the church of Scientology. <laughs> uh, we might have alt-right Twitter coming up. <laughs> Shit. All right, next one. Oh, those are Buckeyes. What? Those are my favorite. What, what are those? Okay, no, no, no. I only know that because Kilwin sold it. It's a Michigan thing. I would not know that if I didn't work at Kilwin. Oh. Honestly, like, good? It's peanut butter with chocolate. It's like oh. a Reese's. Oh, it's, it's so like, good. Mm. Oh, it's like a bocce it's ball. so good. Yeah. 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 It's like, it's honestly like a cheaper, like, not as classy version. Because I've had both. Oh, and then yeah. I would love But, like, it. I like those better. I saw those wow. and I was like, They're olives. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, eyeballs. Those are so good. They those look good. Really All right, next one. peanut butter. That's a Swiss roll. All right. Whoa. I would have said yo. I would have said, said ho hos. Ho -hos. <laughs> oh, wait, what is it? I ho -ho's. said, said yo ho. They call it. They call it yo ho at uh, Olive and Time. Right. Uh. They should sell those at Disney with like the little because it almost kind of looks like, like the Disney D. It does. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Does. that also it reminds me of what you put in your ramen. You know what they like? What is that thing they put in ramen? The little There's an emoji the pink for thing? it. Yeah. What is I that? I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's you know what I'm egg? talking about? The pink and the, white. No, thing. it's the only thing that you in the ramen bowl. You're I feel just like, like I'm, what the fuck? I feel like I'm making this up, but it just popped. I think it's called like daikon. Or something like that. Daikon? I don't know. That just popped into my head. You know what? Da you could choose Daikon when you order ramen at Ramen Genia, but I don't think they have those there. The little, like, pink swirl. The pink, I, the pink swirly. It's, I, it's, I've it's, only seen it's the a, emoji. It's like the prettiest thing in a ramen bowl. I've never focused on that. I'm just so happy. <laughs> <You've got, like, laughs> no, it's not. You, you've you never had it in your ramen. Yeah, that thing oh, right there. Oh, it's like a... Is it like a crab thing? Naruto, isn't that a show? <laughs> Naruto. What, what, what is it made out of? Like, I think what it's is crab. It? It's crab? I don't know. I always thought that looked like oh, crab. That is gorgeous. No, it's gorgeous. Like is it like it's a pickle? radish? Is it like a pickle? It's probably pickled radish. Pickled yeah. radish. Yeah, they can spiral it. They I can mean, cut it to spiral oh, that's it. That's cool. They can probably cut it in a different way after they pick it. They probably spend all that time just making the pretty probably. shapes for that. Fucking... I feel like sushi restaurants probably do spend a lot of time making it really nice. Yeah. There's are somebody who very... owns a bakery in New York just interviewing her right now. Let's <laughs> see how this much is. She knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting her ready. <laughs> We're getting her ready. We're getting her ready. Oh. What? It's fish. There's fish. Cured fish. 
Yeah. How, it could be. But I, right. I don't need. How is it cured? <laughs> how is it cured? What's cured about it? What did it have? It. What did it have wrong? Yeah. yeah. The vaccine. <laughs> Stop. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm. <gasps> Lemon bars. I love. Very good. Yes. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, I think. Is that a not a brookie? Cookie? Is it what just I... a, like a cookie? Wait. Oh. Yeah. What, what is it? Is that what the brookies are? Or is that a blondie? Blondie. Is that what a blondie? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a blondie. That but, honestly, but, but, but it's got the chocolate chips in it. That's what's throwing it that off. That looks better than a brownie. No, it doesn't. That no, it doesn't. Than a brownie. No, yeah. brownie. no. Brownie. Needs brownie. Needs so the blonde. Yes. It's uh, it's yes. the same as a uh, um, oh, a brownie, but instead of cocoa, they use vanilla, and uh, nah. they put like brown sugar. Mm, with it. I like that. I'm good. Not you know me. why? Because we'll Mariah, brownies. I I look I'll at it. I look at I look at a chocolate chip cookie and a double chocolate chip cookie, and I'd rather choose a chocolate chip. Oh, I, I go double why. chocolate chocolate chip no. all fucking. I don't like. I just like chocolate. I don't like too much. I like the separation between the chocolate and. If it meant to be chocolate, I I don't want it to change to vanilla. But it has to have white chocolate. Chocolate chips in the chocolate. Good. Yeah, no. sure. Ugh. That that's good. I, I like something that. To... White chocolate chips make me nauseous. You know what? What? White chocolate's so good. White no, chocolate's it's like iffy it's with good. me. Like, yes. I, oh, it's, there's nothing to it. Like I ha like I have to be in the mood or like it has to be like something. You know the the bag of mixed miniatures. <laughs> mm hmm. With like. What? The Mr. Good chips? Bar, oh, they yeah, got yeah, the Hershey, yeah, yeah, yeah. then they got the Special yeah. Dark, then they got the Crackle. Which one do you choose? I like the. Um, I like the like the I forget which one I think it's the crackle. The one with like the rice, rice in it. Yeah, yeah, okay. me too. I like those. I'm the same. She passed the vibe check. I like those. <laughs> you know what Guys, sounds like passed. a dessert but isn't? What? <laughs> Brock Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, like that, if you told me that that was called a Brockhampton, I'd be like, okay. That does sound like a. It does sound like, like a dessert. Like a dessert. I yeah. think a broccoli. I'm thinking about vegetables. Yeah. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, then maybe cut it out. I thought it was in my mind. It was Keep like it a Brockhampton. No, a Brockhampton sounds you like can a think really. You're, 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 That's you're, fine. Yeah, you're using your imagination. That to me sounds like more. a really nice like cocktail. Okay, can I get a Brock? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a Brock so Hampton drink. on the rocks. So there's something oh, there, yeah. though. Like yeah. a Brock yeah. Hampton, like, that, works. It's shaking. A drink. It could be shaken. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Shake it. Hey, Brock Hampton, hit us up. 1% goes to Unfiltered Crew. All right. Ick. I honestly don't know what that ick, is. Ick, ick, ick. That what does not that? look good. I don't know what that is. You that looks to, disgusting. You need, you need to, you need to uh, learn your culture. Oh, these, they look like sesame seeds. What's it yeah, it looks like okay. some sort of like... Now take take what you see and put it together. And that's what that it is. is not mochi, is it? No, no. Take what you see, the ingredients, and put it together. So we got sesame, sesame balls. balls. We got there like, you go. Good job. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. What's Maybe, in it? Wait, what's in it? What's it filled it? with? Like fig or like um, Fig. It looks fig like or fig or dates. Dates. Yeah, it's probably fig. It looks, it looks like, like fig. Can we find it at like dim sum? Oh. Yes, that's why mm. I was like, Ugh, I'm weird that looks like thing. the shit that like they put on like out for Christmas, like with all the desserts, and that's the only one left. That's not time time yeah. Yeah. nobody yeah. picks that. The only cookies we were allowed in my house growing up were fig Newtons. Like, no, that was, yeah. Yeah. we had we always had ice cream in the house and always fig Newtons. Like we couldn't have like Chips Ahoy or anything. Oh, my mom was like, "You want a cookie here?" <laughs> that explains <laughs> or, a lot. Or, right. <laughs> Or it was the t the blue tin that always has sewing stuff yeah. in it. The Italian <laughs> <Yeah>. cookies. <laughs> the, the sugar cookies. No, no, no. I'm like talking them. about the blue tin one where they have se sections. All the cookies yes. sucked. I like those. I like them. I like did, those. did you guys used to have family re reunions in a place that was so cold and obviously there was so much food you couldn't all stick it in the refrigerator? So Never had a stick family it on reunion. top of cars in the garage? No. We would set like, the garage on, like the up. hoods of cars in the garage because no. it was so cold already. It was going to keep the food we cold. We would put the we would set up tables in the garage because it was so oh, cold. Oh, we would in there. put it on like the hoods of the car uh, and on top yeah. of the car. Oh, because huh. it was like a way. It was already cold. Instead of setting it on the ground, we yeah. would set it on the cars. Or like if there was like for Christmas, we'll throw like the drinks in the snow. Oh whoa! Yeah. You see, we would put them in the fridge because that's the only place that's <laughs> in cold. Florida. That's, cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the only place in Florida that's, that's cold. All you get. We had the like, remember, remember like four years ago, five like the warmest Christmas we had. It was like 107 degrees on oh. Christmas Day. I don't know how you guys do it. Dude, when on I was, Christmas Day, oh, it was I'm crazy. Dreaming. When I was just there, <laughs> it was so brutally hot and wet. Like it was, wow. you feel like you're just gonna fucking pass out. Yeah. I cannot stand the I'm weather. Like Every winter, in New yeah, York. you get seasons. I'm oh for yeah, seasons. like I like. But the cold. it sucks. I so like at some points cold. in New York. I prefer. And the it gets slush. You're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be so pretty. But like stepping outside is not pretty because like everyone's walking outside, so it's black snow. It's like brown oh, yeah. and mushy, but it is very pretty. Like seeing it fall. Yeah. Hit it. Yes. <gasps> Ice cream rolls. That's you, the hot new thing. Got, shout it out when Those you know it. Ice cream it. rolls. Like I don't know what they're called. Like <laughs> yeah, aren't they yeah, rolls? Just ice cream. Rolled ice cream. I, I think Patricia cream, do a place yeah. like this. This was like the this was the plot twist one. The hard hitter, 
this is our last one. But oh, this is the last one. Yeah, that was the hard hitting one that we <laughs> oh, all okay. kept for the end. Oh. Didn't think I could get that one right. Didn't think you get that one. <laughs> no. Obviously. I didn't think you had, baby. I didn't think you had the money to eat ice cream like that. <laughs> What's that funny? You did, you did very funny, good. I got that for free at the mall. Because we applied for jobs there. We did not get the job there. You applied the job at the ice cream place? Yeah, when me and Brie were first looking like three years ago, we like stopped there and like he was like, You want free ice cream? And like they just gave it to us. Oh, wow. I don't know. That was the only time I ever had Pretty oh, privilege. Pretty funny. I guess you pretty don't privilege. have pretty privilege. Wait, so this is so stupid. What? <laughs> Do you have to wear a hairnet? No. <laughs> Why the fuck the would you have to wear a hair? <laughs> you know how stupid I would look. <laughs> I could have phrased it better. I'm no, sorry. like it's it's even funny. Like if I have to wear like a hat, like it looks weird. So like, <laughs> I never had to wear a hat at work. Like everyone has to. I mean, wear that's, a hat, I mean it's better made. than a hairnet. Yeah, yeah like my hair. It's never my hair that's coming out. Yeah, it's never my hair. <laughs> if there's ever hair in there, so they're just like there's hair in here. You're just like, Bro, well, <laughs> that like reminded me of something that happened. Like I feel like right as I was about to quit. Like, does that ever happen? Like, right when you're about to quit a job, like, the worst things just keep happening, and you're just like, thank God I'm leaving. It yes. Yeah. Like, it's, thank God exactly I'm what happened leaving. with me. Yes. Because, like, that last two weeks at Kilwins was the worst two weeks. Miserable. Ever. Yeah. I just had the most ridiculous customers coming in back to back. Like, this one group, they came in. I didn't even serve them, but, like, I had to deal with them. They came in, they got ice cream, and they were, like, they were on the younger side, and you can always tell who's not going to have the money when they get to the like register like if like uh, if it's kids if it's kids and like our ice cream is like seven dollars it's expensive right mm -hmm. like i don't expect kids because like i would never go in there right i would never go in there and get ice yeah, cream that's a lot it's ridiculous it's, it's yeah. ridiculous so like kids like i don't expect them like whenever kids come in like young young kids yeah i get nervous i'm like and i don't see a parent i'm like oh my god here we go <laughs> what am i gonna have to do <laughs> but then they like pull out their 20 and i'm like okay their parents send them in with the money but that's right. fine but like these kids and like we know this is exactly what happened they came in they got their ice cream and they left they sat outside and then they walk back in and they eat like half of it and they're like this hair was in our ice cream when we got to the middle of it we want a refund oh, and i was no. like and so i would have been like because <laughs> i'm the no, only one working it wasn't me no no it wasn't me it was brianna who had them as customers but oh, like no. that was none of the hair colors like Bree's hair at that time was like red so like that wasn't any of one's hair in the store but like whatever so they like i had to go deal with them because like i would have to do the return if there was a return but yeah. like i had to ask them and i was like i have to go find the receipt but like because like what am i supposed to do like if they have a hair in it like i have to refund the ice right. cream. like i can't like say you're lying yeah. so like whatever i'm gonna refund you your ice cream but they're like and the other girl next to her was like well i don't want my ice cream now i want a refund too because like i don't know if there was ice cream mine i'm like well there wasn't what i'm not fuck? giving you a refund what? oh my god and i said that i'm like well there wasn't a hair in your so i'm not refunding you yours and she was like well well what if we paid together and i'm like what you didn't that's what you, can, <laughs> you, that's didn't. What you can tell it was premeditated yeah, like, like that's you what you can tell it was fucking planned like it's you crazy. didn't pay together i have your separate receipts so oh you know they pull like, that shit do you think everywhere you know they see their parents trying to do that you know <laughs> or they see some tiktok where it's like you want to know how to get <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Put say hair. your hair's in it because like honestly well, like every business would have to give you a refund if like you say there's a hair because like what are they gonna do right but like don't try to pull on their, it punch their like, loyalty card like two more times and be like come yeah. come again that that whole like customers are always right that needs to fucking go it's that so whole like annoying. there's a hair it's it's crazy how much that shit works now and like it's still to this day just I people mean, get what away is, what with that. What did you that. just have like I feel like if that happened you would have to just like not refund them but just give them another new, one. Uh, yeah, another I wouldn't cream. fucking give them their money back. But the thing is if they're saying like the thing is there's certain people that like our boss never told us how to handle like certain situations. Like he never said what to do if like people come in and ask for like a refund and because it happens so rarely because mm -hmm. it's so rare that like people want to return something because it's chocolate like, you can't return it for yeah. the most part but he never told us and every time like something goes left because like we didn't know how to handle it, and we did the best that we could and what we thought you would want us to do yeah he always yelled at us <sighs> it would always be some fight and we still never got an answer on how to respond to when it happened in the future so we would just keep doing how we wanted to do it how would he have handle that situation he like, would have just given them free ice cream and probably refunded it but like i'm not like i'm not gonna offer you free ice cream because like what's the point like you would have just finished your ice cream yeah you want your money back like you yeah. don't want mm -hmm. you want a refund no they deserve the that ice the cream point. i think they deserve the ice, ice cream, cream back and yeah. not the money they yeah. paid the money then go okay then i'll give you a t you can watch me do it completely or grab Here's a tub your... from the bag and be like 
brand new. Yeah. yeah. You can't even tell somebody that they're stealing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you're not allowed. If somebody's stealing, like you're not allowed to like chase at. That was another one. Some guy yeah. got in trouble for chasing after a guy that was stealing and he got the object back. He like took his backpack and he got in trouble the one, for the it. One, I think somebody That's ended up hiring him. Like a big company hired him because they loved the way he handled that. So they, they Good. hired him immediately. Yeah. <laughs> they made him like a bodyguard like or like <laughs> yeah. the security yeah. guy. But like when I worked at Forever Twenty One, our the rule was when we saw when we saw somebody stealing with our own eyes, mm -hmm. we had to um, ask them if they needed our help the entire time until they left the store. That that was the oh, that was the only really? thing. Like, oh yeah, my god, I'd be so annoyed. I saw you, I saw you over there. Is there any, any help? Um, anything else you need? Do you need any help over here? Do you need any help over here? You keep doing that oh. until they leave, and then they walk out with the item. It's like you're literally you're you're. Uh, uh, what's the word? You're incentivizing them to keep doing it. Yeah. They know that we can't do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. So why the fuck are we? Why but are we also bizarre? tell me, do not shoplift. Do not do it though. Yeah. We're, don't. Oh yeah. No. Don't. Yeah. Right. I know. But even though you can maybe walk out of places. Yeah. Do because not. Oh no. I think no. Not. I think now is much different. This is back. I feel like no. Back then. No. Now is it true that places now is like worse? Target, like they, Target, they, they rack it up. They rack they it up. They wait till you get to a certain number oh, yeah. and then they call the police. Yeah. Uh -huh. But like Walmart, I know they don't care. And like people will say, like we know you steal, like we know you don't scan the items, and we see it on our thing, like what you scanned and mm -hmm. what you didn't scan. Damn, we just don't care. They That's don't smart. Care. I had buddies in high school would walk into the back of Walmart, get the thirty pack of Keystone, and walk right out. <laughs> Nothing. They did it. Where's the guy that time. checks your receipt? Is your uh, certain late hours and stuff? If it's not that busy, they're not there. This was different. This was in two thousand and like it was a nine. different time. It was a different. <laughs> yeah, we, we that was insane to me. We used to have to going. say like, um, "Is there anything you want me to put uh, up at the register that you wanna you want us to hold for you?" And like you have to like, you're not like accusing them of stealing. Let you can't be like you're, you're stealing, stealing, but like try to make it aware. Like, you need any help with the um the jewelry? Uh, but you can't be like I always wondered why pe like <clears throat> I I will leave a store if they're too up my ass but maybe they think I'm like suspicious <laughs> like for some reason every time I walk into a store what's going on in my brain is like they think I'm stealing and I'm not like I always think like I oh my god I'm looking around I'm like too suspicious like it's like when you're you're not doing anything wrong but a cop comes by and you're like oh no 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 you're not doing anything yeah but there's Every time I go into a store, they ask me like 10 times, do you want me to put that to the front? And I'm like, no, I I put things back. I <laughs> Like, no. And then they bother me too it. much. I leave without anything. <laughs> like, I constantly go into stores and come out with oh. nothing because they bother me too much. Still to this day, when I show my ID, I'm worried it's fake. I'm 29 years yeah. old. And when I do it, I'm always like... I stand up taller. Everything, like, everything uh, check out. Like I know my birthday. I, I know try my to address. do the same face as my ID because I just don't want any <laughs> yeah. problems to I'm like, yes. arise. Especially at the airport. Like I do at the airport, and the guy's just looking extra hard. I'm just like, I'm about to miss my flight. Yeah, I put my hair in front every time. I'm like, is the length good? Like it's stupid. I look nothing like my ID. So. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, yeah, yeah. you know what I think is so nasty at airports, and this was even pre-corona that like. Like you have to put your phone down to scan mm -hmm. on a thing that's been on your face. Yeah. So your everybody's face is touched that I little screen that to too. scan. I never I'm thought like, about that. Yeah. Never thought about that. Make it a little oh, barcode. Face it down. Why do yeah. I have to put why it on this thing? Why is it upside down? Like why? Did Disgusting. You <laughs> or or you could you could print your boarding pass. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. Not... Who prints their boarding pass? <laughs> I kind of like having like the paper. It. Yeah, I like it better. <clears throat> I just like it's always right there. Like just in on case because my, my i'm most wallet. likely going to lose it <laughs> yeah wait there's one more thing i want to say back to the forever well, i used to work at forever 21 the people shoplifting there's one story and i know i'll forget it i'll never bring it up again but i can't i i just remembered that this happened and i have to say this story uh there was one time out like i was just working at a shift at forever 21 and this lady we had shoplifter lifters every fucking day but this one was different this one was just like you gotta give this motherfucker credit this <laughs> this lady <laughs> this lady comes in with her kid right and she comes in and everybody immediately stops working and starts looking at this lady this lady is wearing completely see-through from like a bodysuit see-through no underwear <gasps> no bra what but it wasn't like a dark see-through it was so see-through where you're just like ma'am i'll be right there with you and you just had to watch this lady walk through the store because you could not believe that this lady was walking in the store with that with, with with just nothing on and the whole store is watching this lady go 
Meanwhile, her kid with a backpack, her three-year-old with a Shut is up. stealing shit around the entire oh store while the entire staff of this murder attorney is staring at this woman walking in. What? It was <laughs> unbelievable. And they're Bravo. Bravo. Oh, that's it, out of like, that's out of like Oceans so of Life. I know. Wait, that, she was the distraction. She yes. was the distraction. And she trained a three-year-old. Oh my goodness. It was a little kid. I don't know how old he was, but he was old, like, he was like, he was like, this tall with a probably backpack. like six years old. Did he, know, did he know the prices of stuff, or was he just going? Did it matter? Random things. They, like do, it, look they at the do it. They do it all the time. You could tell. Like this kid what? is a natural. And right before <laughs> they left, somebody notices uh, the person throwing, like uh, the little kid throwing a, a like clothing in the bag. And immediately, as soon as they left, they like called security, but they were gone. Damn. What? But man, I like we all. We're, we're, we're ta was talking about that for three months. Describe Florida. the outfit again, because in my head, it, I have okay, these. Okay, it was... Like mesh? Yeah, yeah, it was mesh. Like it's a like, dress? It's, like what, it's what girls will wear, but they'll wear a bra under it. Right. It's one of those touristy, just like... I, I, I'm, no, I'm I would, touristy tank tops where it's like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> tank tops where it's like oh look at me in my like bikini body I wanted to put a picture of this mesh that this lady was wearing but she was wearing nothing under it I'm picturing like oh. the, the brother from uh, 50 first dates um, like you know oh, he's like top. Sean asked yeah. it oh yes it, yes sir it's like, how it's my, like my, my, my it's not yeah. yeah. it was yeah, it yeah. was it was uh, it was as see through as that wow but like but you couldn't really tell this lady to leave the mall because I don't know. There was just something about the bodysuit where, like, you just couldn't tell her, ma'am, you need to leave. Right. It was like enough where you're able it to get away. Kind of okay. it. But still, you could see her fucking twat oh and her titties. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. But, like, she, it was on purpose. It's not like she like thought she looked good. She did it. Someone's gonna intentionally steal that for like a plot in a movie. Uh, That's imagine, like an amazing. Imagine how it fucking is. disgusting you are that like you're getting yourself naked to walk around to distract people so your fucking six year old can steal. Yeah, it, it, it like was, that is. It was really sad. Trash. It was really sad that watching is crazy. that. Crazy. And like there, he was just stealing everything. It was like from every it's department. Like some Florida projects. Yeah. Wow. yeah. No, but like that's a hundred percent a scene in a movie. When you start working so out there, good. you're gonna have insane stories. Oh you thought God. you had crazy stories now? Yeah. Depending on where you're working at, um, Mike Sheffer was saying that the best place to start working at for like culinary or what she wants to do is hotels. Yeah. Because the best, the best chefs are the biggest chefs now. They always start at hotels. Hmm. I would look into that because, like, even Baba worked at a hotel. Yeah, like, he worked at a hotel. I have a feeling it wouldn't be as fun as like working like at a bakery in the corner of a street. You see all these people. You have your regulars come in. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. won't be like if I worked in a hotel, it wouldn't be as much customer service as much as baking. Oh right. What about, oh, what about yeah. a bagel shop? We go in steam no. bras. <laughs> I think I think that <laughs> that answered your question here. <laughs> if it was like the only job I could find, yeah, I would take the job. But like, okay. it's not something I'm well, like looking. We to should do, let like, the vocals. audience know, folks. If you know some people who are high up, if your daddy owns the the <laughs> yeah, help her out, please. Look at her. She deserves. She deserves. Har <laughs> Hadaya. Yeah, but she right now she's like looking for a job. So yeah. Anywhere that's like Maybe cool. Maybe Wendy Thomas spot. knows somebody. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Shout out to Wendy Thomas if you know anybody in New York who would love to hire Rebecca somebody in like and craft. in New York. You're going to get it. Don't worry. I hope so. You yeah, will. you're going to do just fine. I'm not even worried. That's no, what we should. You know worried. what? Next time I'm up there, we should just like job like we just go to every bakery <laughs> we and go to i do not want to go around every bakery in new york <laughs> we, do, we, do, we do a meet up at every bakery <laughs> meet up at every bakery so we'll see get which one which, which one, one we can hook we can, which one we can hook for you to get a job do you have a car no i don't have my car so where's your car it's at home in the parking lot what do you plan on doing with it probably thinking about selling it huh. and you're gonna give that uh. money back to zane right huh uh what what are you gonna sell it for Whatever. Do I know, no, it's actually you should really. Yeah. I honestly wouldn't even like spend it on rent. Like I would save it. To where... <laughs> oh, <Mariah. laughs> like, I was trying to get it in. I knew it wouldn't hit, but no, no. it was the wrong time. You better take that. <laughs> They're like, love the car, but does that come off? Honestly, Is that no, painted? That protected it. No, so, you like, need... when I take it but... off to sell it, it'll be like. <laughs> when you take it, no, you need to take it off before you yeah. put it up to sell. Yeah. It's just yeah. going to be like There's stained a... <laughs> always on there. Like yeah. I had a peace sign on my Kia Soul from a long time ago that the owner had. You could always see the damn peace sign on there <laughs> no, you should keep it on and then and like on craigslist or wherever you put it on craigslist wherever you put it just put this in the description 
a blood was still there from when I, when I ran over a deer on whatever. <laughs> just it's like just make him think it's blood <laughs> on the side of your car. You just you can never take it off. I honestly wouldn't even use it for like rent. Like I would save that money for like if I ever want to get a car down the like mm -hmm. down yeah. the road and like put more money into it. No Ooh, pun so intended. She's financially <laughs> responsible. Yeah, because you don't need a car in New York. You'll have yeah. it probably whatever. I, it wouldn't after. even make sense. Like I couldn't handle the driving. No, it's yeah. hell. I don't know. I kind of want to take it like I'm joking. slowly because yeah, I also right? have. Oh, she, he, he, she's choking again. Go. Oh my God. Go. Is it that type of choking? Bring the cameras. Bring the cameras. Mama. We also want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor, Honey. Guys, we all shop online. We've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. And Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech, gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery it's super easy to use you're just shopping online like you normally do you go to check out the honey button drops down and then you click apply coupons you wait a few seconds you allow honey to search for the best coupon and once it finds the best coupon watch the prices drop baby you know zayn and i are shopaholics and we also have no taste in fashion yeah, so we've been shopping online a little bit trying to get some goodies and actually i saved like 25 bucks um like a couple days ago and I totally forget that I have it. Yeah. And it's it's always right there at checkout. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like a refreshing thing. Like, boom, you just save money. Exactly. And you know what? It's nice that we're using Honey for a lot of our uh, shopping because we're running out of clothes for the podcast. We're, if you see, we're uh, wearing the same thing mm -hmm. every episode. So it's good that Honey is there by our side uh, helping us save money on new clothes that we need to wear. And they found there are over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. $2 billion in savings. I remember a year ago, I think I said a billion dollars. Now it's $2 billion. Keep that money in your pocket, baby. Don't wow. be giving it away. Guys, if you don't already have honey, you're straight up missing out on free savings. Come on. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and doing us a solid by supporting this podcast. Zane and I use it, so that's why we're recommending it. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. That's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. That's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> What's so funny is I go out there oh and she's God. literally choking and she's grabbing a glass to like get a glass of water and I'm thinking she's gonna go straight for the like the water fountain and she goes to the fridge and she's opening up and she's putting ice cubes in it <laughs> and she's like <laughs> like just get though you don't need her to her be final cold moment <laughs> just like dying but needs her water cold yeah comes when, back with fucking cheese and crackers won't like, get her choke on this no I'm thinking. My logic is that I need something solid so that it catches that piece and just swallows it. Right, brings it down. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get it down. Heath, remember when I, I choked on that uh, the antibiotic? But I, <laughs> <laughs> the pill sideways? I, I didn't even call 911. I called Heath. <laughs> I was choking on the pill. It was right here and I couldn't get it out. I called Heath. He's like, what do I do? I was like, Heath, I'm it's fucking it out. I don't know what to do. He's like, puke it out. Puke it out. <laughs> And on face, I'm like, all right, watch me. <laughs> and you just see the blue pill come right with my puke, just out. I'm like, I, I got it, Heath. That. I'm a lifesaver. Yeah, that was a story. I'm a lifesaver. No. You are. You really did. A true hero. A cop. A cop would have asked for my address. Right. Would have asked for. <laughs> you know when you call 911 in LA, they put you on fucking hold. Isn't that crazy? Hey, really? Put you on hold. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Let's there, try. Let's there try was it. there was two times that I've called uh, two. Personal experiences where they put me on hold for five minutes. So they go nine one one. What's your emergency? Please you said your emergency, and they realized it wasn't. No, no, no. It's 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 on hold. Like it. Um, they don't get me to a uh a, a, a operator. It puts you like it puts me on hold. Like wait till you get to an operator. Could I have you ever called nine one one? No, I haven't called. That I don't citizen think I've app ever called. must be like. <laughs> 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 I don't think I've Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have the citizen app? Oh. Don't. She's gonna be. She's gonna be. Don't. It's don't so. Do it. It's crazy. Like no, we have citizen app. I don't, don't want to know. You'll be up at one o'clock in the morning, just like this. Just <laughs> fucking. Oh, terror. They'll tell you everything. No, yeah, don't do it. Even Brie was telling me about something that happened in February of this year, <sighs> on the J train. So like that's like the, my stop. Like that's where I would get like mm -hmm. go to. There was someone just going around just slashing people, just just slashing people in the throat. <laughs> on, just on the train. Christ. On the station. It's like it's like the Joker movie. And he's Zane's not the bit concerned. <laughs> and they oh, never like found a movie. him. It's like that movie. <laughs> it's a they fun never bit. found him. Like he just stopped. He just stopped. He just, he just got bored. So he's still out. He's still out there. Very Jesus. good. Jesus. 
I feel like New York is the easiest place to like the oh. Soho slasher. So like, <laughs> the thing is, stuff happens in like daylight and like no one does anything. Yeah, it's just yeah. Sad. It's just sad. Damn. Well, you got to be be safe out there. That's why I don't go anywhere. Uh -uh. Don't let Brianna. Are you packing? What, what what do we got in the the purse? I only have pepper spray. Like, oh yeah, oh, let's I do a what's in my purse. Yeah, let's do a what's in my purse. You got your bag. It seems like you got somewhere you need to be. You're in a BuzzFeed video right now. Hidaya, not do what's, what's in, in your purse? purse. <laughs> I love the... Oh, those videos are so staged, I hate it. But you know when they do the what's in my purse, they do a celebrity, and it's all fucking obviously. <laughs> like, I always like to there. carry hot sauce, hot sauce in my bag. <laughs> okay. I gotta have Mine would this. seem staged, but it's like I always have like a little packet of Parmesan. No, you have a lot. You have half a lime deodorant. She has like what you Yeah, what you, you don't have half a lime in your purse. <laughs> I did one time. I have a mask. Say my plan B. Okay. My... <laughs> I have a mask. I have a lip liner. <gasps> oh, <Okay>. brand. <laughs> Nix. Shout him out. All right. Nick's going to send her an entire care package. <laughs> I have a lipstick. All right. Lip go off. Mil Milani? Milani yeah. Yes, I use the same one. Yeah, teddy bear. I love this. That's cute. <laughs> and then I have a lip gloss. Okay. A lot oh, of wow. lip, lip products. Okay. And then I have my AirPods. <gasps> Not the Pro? Not the Pro. Oh, really Ouch. <laughs> she just moved to Brooklyn. Oh. I have a perfume. What perfume is it? Tease. Curry scent. Oh, okay. tease. Relax. Bit of a tease, huh? <laughs> and then chapstick. A lot of lip products. Brown. A lot of lip a going lot on. Lip you hear that, yeah. Zane? She wants to bring attention. I know. That means that she's doing a lot of... Uh, a, lot, a lot of kissing. Uh, have you found any good boys? No. There's no good boys ever. Yeah, I, I have no that. prospects. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's is there never. any? Is there any like uh, what? What do they call like the fast blonde? Uh, the fast dating thing? Speed, Speed dating. dating. Speed dating. <laughs> <laughs> When you date any, really fast. Uh, do they have any Muslim, Muslim speed dating? I doubt it. I've no, never heard be of anything fun. like that. That would be fun. But every every table has their parents with them. <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. girl seated with her parents. Yeah. <laughs> the, parents the parents are the ones talking. It's not even the fucking <laughs> That's really funny. No. there's Meeting people is so hard. It is. They should so do, hard. what was it? Parental control when the parents... Oh, uh, that show. When the parents pick three guys. Yeah. Like, no, how was it? Like, what was the setup, though? The, Wait, no. You talking about the MTV show. Yeah. Yeah. Where they went on dates with the mom. Oh, the there guy was three went on them. dates with all of the moms, and then at the end, he decided. No, 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 I'm not and talking then the about girls that. would be like, well, meet my lovely daughter. That, no, yeah. wait. That's oh. I'm guessing that's not is that's not parental control. I'm getting shows mixed up, but there was a show that was like that where they dated the mom, and then she's like, meet my daughter. Great concept. Yes. Well, that how many of those great. type of shows? Yes. What was that show great. called? What was it called? Going to date it, with my mom. Date, date my, my mom. mom. Or, yeah, mom. date my date mom. Date my mom. Ooh. It was called Date My how Mom. Not guess really? That. What's the one where they date my mom? <laughs> I don't remember so, it being called Date My Mom. So parental control was the one where they have three guys, then the parents watch from the living room, like on the TV. It's where it's a bad relationship, and the parents oh want, want to get the oh. yeah. Oh. Sorry, that was that those was were, that was obviously staged, right? Th those shows were yeah. Those, yeah, staged. those lines. It's like, well, sugar and spice, you missed out on something nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meet my daughter, Annabelle. Like, yes. <laughs> so great. Yes. It was... And then the girl's really hot, and you're like, look what he missed out on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. And then sometimes they were, like, they were like, yeah, <laughs> that's why I wow. did it. And you see the dude just like, oh. and then the girl he picked is just like, what? Sorry, I got that all mixed up. That was annoying. I was really no, no. I thought concept. it was called parental control too. I think I'm just confused on what was what. Parental control was when the she they didn't like the person they were dating, got so they it. picked yeah. three new guys. Yeah. Am I right? Bring those shows back. I want to. I, I, I want to watch that. Next, next. next, next so good. Matt would come up with the really good bullet points. Oh yeah. Next. <laughs> next. 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 The fun fact. The fun. The best was when they walked off the bus and they were only halfway up the park oh, yeah. and they were like. Next, <laughs> like not even didn't, even get, didn't even get twenty feet up to the no, person. No, they're like this. No, no, next, and then they would go back on the bus. Like, oh, bro, <laughs> yeah. man, what happened? Like, I don't know, man. She was <laughs> those velvet curtains covering the windows. <laughs> Remember the show, Yo Mama? Yo I Mama. watched that shit religiously. A thousand dollars, cash all my jokes money. <laughs> Is that just wild and out? But they were just saying Yo Mama yes, jokes. Yes, Yo yeah. Mama jokes. They were just outside. It looked like it was filmed on a cell phone. Like it was like so. It was from under low a bridge. Quality. Yeah, yes. it was. It was good though. That was, it good. was such good. a simple concept. Yeah. Such Do you think these shows could? Hold up, like if they did do like a reboot, like people would like enjoy Yo it. Yo Mama would never slide. No, no well, way. Unless they put or, it or on like Netflix. The, like I just, I don't know. Oh, like the old episodes, you mean? MTV is now part of Paramount Plus, so uh -huh. 
I, I bet it would be good, but it's a lot of hmm. money. It yeah. just would have to get popular. Would you do reality TV? No. Never? No. What about like a baking reality show? Yeah. I would probably do something You ever like watch that, Nailed like... It? It's horrible. It's yeah. where they have like the worst bakers try to recreate like these beautiful yeah. like masterpieces. It's oh, so they just funny. put them in the worst position. It's Man. so fun. They are so bad. <laughs> I think it'd be a good would you be da would, like? Would you actually want to do a baking show? Like, be a contestant on a baking show? I think that would make me so nervous. People would love her so though because nervous. she's also funny. Yeah. Some of those people nervous. are so boring. They're just good at what they do. But yeah. like, she would be like. But but would you but would you be able to be like comfortable in a setting like that? I don't that? know if I'd be comfortable. I feel like I'd be so sh I'd be so nervous. What if I was what if what if I was there? <laughs> what if I was what if what if I was direct fake directing it? He's like, what if I was the judge? <laughs> yeah, the host. Zane's the host. Y'all should get on Sugar Rush. Oh yeah, we could talk to Hunter March for you. You'll be on the next season. Is he still? Does he still do that show? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Oh my God! Wow. He's killing it. We got Gordon Ramsay. Hadai, what are we making here? <laughs> Hadai. Butter chicken. It, I love Gordon it. Gordon Ramsay would make me cry. Oh, and he yeah. made me cry. I'm so cry. sensitive. No, I'm so sensitive. Like, I, he would make me cry. I <laughs> ate at a restaurant. I ate at a restaurant one time, and he was eating there, and our waiter was serving his Ooh. table and our table. Oh, was he telling you? Like, was he? Well, telling no. You about I realized what was happening the moment we sat down, uh -huh. and the waiter went from that table to our table, and I'm like, "Are you serving that table?" And he goes, "Yeah." And I'm like, "You Take better your get time. back." <laughs> I was like, was good. we'd love our cocktails, but just take, take your, your time. time. And he oh, was like, sweet of you. thank you. Like, <laughs> Could you imagine if you were just like a dick? You're like, um, we've been waiting here. Our appetizers. Like, I don't care and, if Gordon Ramsay is over there. <laughs> you're serving me. You oh, say God. it like sarcastic. I don't care if Gordon Ramsay you is your other. You say extra loud just yeah. so he hears it. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. What restaurant was it? Angelina's. Yeah. Angelini's. That's what like I that. choked on. I know it. One of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back for uh, revenge. Bitch. Round two. How far do you think you'd make it in a in a competition like that? I feel like the first round. Like, I oh, feel like, I so feel like you don't I think wouldn't you're that good. You don't think it. you're that good? No, because I feel like under pressure, like I get anxious. Mm -hmm. Like my anxiety, like I get too anxious and I feel like I wouldn't even finish my dessert in time. Well. Unless like yeah. I practice like a whole bunch, which I feel like you have to, but like. Yeah. yeah. My biggest fear is being on a reality show and I'm like talking, I think I'm being great, I'm being myself, and then like you watch the edit and it's just like this tuba <laughs> sound like the whole time. You're like, I, <laughs> I thought I was being myself and they just frame you as being an idiot. God, yeah, that, and that's the thing with reality TV. Like you, like if we were ever in a reality TV show, the they can one, make you look so bad. The one thing that we would want in the contract is we get to see how you're gonna make us look, right? That's all we'd want. But they're just like, no, it's a reality TV show. You're gonna like, look like what you, yeah, like, what you give us. Do you ever remember the busy world of Richard Scary? Okay, no. it was. But do you remember this? Matt. The apple, the apple with the oh little worm. Oh my goodness! I, I, I feel like apple I've seen that before. Yeah, as a yes. Kid. Like you had them at a Tom Thumb or something. Like, yeah. uh, no. Wait, what about it? Just remember? <laughs> oh, I thought. Oh, I thought there was a crazy fucking like. Uh, oh, have, no, I, I think this was that. everywhere. In, yeah. I remember that. Wow. I remember that as a kid. Huh. Right. That reminded me. This is so random. But did you guys re ever remember having that one? Drawing growing up that you were really good at that you would just draw over and over again. My, like yeah. mine was like a I, I went through like a worm and an apple phase where I just drew a worm <laughs> and I was so good at it. A worm and the an worm apple. The worm got like better everywhere. every time. Yeah. I, I would draw a heart with an arrow through it and the <laughs> Superman. Uh, <laughs> the, what's the what's the, the Superman, Superman symbol? The S. The, oh, I went, the three lines oh, and then the, the universal yeah. S. The universal yeah. S. Did I you ever make it a whole chain? Like, do you remember how cool you were when you kept? I'd going? go like this. I'd go all around yes. the paper like that. You'd make it like curved instead of sharp. And yup. Like, the S. I think you had anything you drew. Or the tornado. Uh, I don't know why. The, tor the my tornado. Thing, the tornado. <laughs> I used to do my that. thing was always just a guy in a baseball hat, complete side profile, <laughs> full body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking joking. That shit looked That's the most heat drawing. I remember, like. and it would literally be like it would be pants, shoes, and the guy would just be completely sideways. And I just remember drawing the nose and then the lips, and then it was just like a guy, and then he'd be just like <laughs> literally exactly who I am right now. That's the weird fucking thing. Well, there was a drawing where it was a guy, but you can use all the numbers like one through ten to draw his face. You oh, remember that? I, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, like, boy, yeah, like, boy. boy too. I would do that 
going like, to. Oh my gosh, you would take the Y and then you go all the way around. Yeah. Remember Boy. you do like you do like the um you draw like a house with snow on top and it looks like a like a like a somebody bending over a guy bending over in the shower. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but. It, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay no okay so it's yeah, like you draw like a box and then yeah, you draw uh, the house okay and then you I draw the it. snow on top uh -huh. and then you draw the um the sun like over the house and then you draw like the oh, go over like that and I then you draw i kind of remember that remember and so you're drawing this and the kids are like what are you drawing it's a house with snow and then it ended up being a guy bending over and it's like i think i remember snow. that there's there's like a few drawings where it starts out looking like yes. something different Maybe I'm yeah thinking of something else too i went through like an elephant ass phase just the back of an elephant but it was so like the back of an elephant i can probably do it right now <laughs> <laughs> my my other thing was um drawing the number 12 and then the number 12 underneath it and then you'd put ears and then you'd do like arms and then it'd be a bunny get oh. out of here you do you do two twelve. yes i know what you're talking about um I, and I would do it i literally drew it every fucking day i don't know why uh here, Let's see i'll it. draw it right now ready <laughs> so you do all right here we go so let's make it dark you do 12. for audio listeners we're sorry 12 12. Oh, I see it. Those are the, the thighs. And then this is like the thumper feet. This yes. is like the little bunny's hands. And then this oh my gosh. was the big ears. <laughs> Let me see and that. It, oh my God. And That's I would draw this so over funny. and over. I don't... It is sideways. I just said, oh, we're going to give him a little catcher's mitt in a baseball field. My you should have done that face. <laughs> my mom can do, uh, she could do Mickey Mouse, but without picking up the pencil. Huh. Oh, interesting. I know how to do this one that's a dog, and you go, there was a boy with no arms. Yes! And he was chased by a swarm of <laughs> bees, bees, and then he jumped into a big pool. And he died. And they I gave him two see, tombstones yes. and everyone jo cried giant tears at his funeral. Yes. And like, you make what? a dog. I've Did you do that they, one? I've seen how they do the dog, but like I haven't heard that rhyme for it. Oh, yeah. Like, like there's a boy with that. no yeah. arms. And that's when you make this like stick figure with no arms. And that's the nose and like the snout. And then the and bees jumped in the surrounded pool. him. So you yeah, do and they, three like freckles like, where the whiskers come out. Huh. Yeah. I've seen that. Hey, Daya, she would just do henna in class. No, That's I how she would, do. I would, she would just I would write words. Like, I would write words. I don't know. I was always like. Like bubble letters? Not even just like bubble letters. I would repeat the same bubble like letters, letters or like words. Oh. Or, like, I don't know why. Like, do you remember like changing your E's and A's to be like different? Did you the, ever like. The A like this? Uh, yeah. Did you ever do like the E with the slat, like the line yeah, this way? Yeah. Like, or the A would be this one. Uh uh. This with one? like the hook. This yeah, one? why? Or like you would to dot your eyes with hearts or something. Or <gasps> I used to dot my eye just uh, like I would draw a circle instead of like dotting it. Oh, like she that was different. Phase. Oh. Oh my no. God. Another thing I used, to, I used to draw this every day. I think I was in like fifth grade. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what it was, but I would draw like a girl from behind and it would be like tight jeans. And then I would fucking make a G string coming up <gasps> over Bubba. like the back. I don't Bubba. know why. <laughs> How old? I think I was in like fifth grade. You knew what a G string You don't like me because I didn't know like a hooker. Thong oh, that thong, that thong, 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 thong. But thong. he would it was, not listen to that. It was like final, like final Fantasy. I remember oh, like seeing, yeah. and you would see like that, and I don't know why. I oh, thought, Final Fantasy was I thought dirty. it was like so final bad. Seven I was like, like, that is like really, like that was the craziest thing I'd ever so seen. So you would draw it on their hips? Like, and you yeah. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, fuck. those games had a lot because I, I was playing as a kid once and my stepdad walked in. He's just like, Jesus. Like, it was this girl that was in the game and just like giant. <laughs> and it was just like she was barely wearing anything, but it was a kid's game. <laughs> it was, was like, not a kid's game. It was like, it was, it was T rated T, but dark T. <laughs> <Ratings. laughs> remember when it was like, T plus. <laughs> remember the ratings were like, T, oh, T MTN, plus. And there was like dark T. Yeah. Like, <laughs> The team. Rated M for mature. Yeah, I remember just like looking through like Game Informer and just being like, Oh, oh Game. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. It was close to Playboy. <laughs> that was the closest thing was... we had. That, and I remember playing uh, fucking <laughs> like Tekken. <laughs> Oh, te what was going or on? He, no, dead or alive. Dead, that, that was it. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. And then like the beach volleyball. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I remember about like y'all were y'all were allowed bought, to play that. I only bought the beach yeah. volleyball one because of that. 
I that was literally it was close. Were they to games where like the characters were sexy? Show it, show it. Wait, this, the, the, look what they the, had these players wait, play. The, the, uh, <laughs> dead or alive, uh, that's what it was. Oh, oh <laughs> no. That's what they're wearing in wait, the It's a kids what? it's a kids fighting game. Fighting? Wait, wait. Oh Heath, remember remember how they made them sound too? <laughs> Why is it called gonna... dead or alive? Like, do it they was die? Like a it, game. Was, it was, it was like a Tekken, like Mortal Kombat. You know the what? what but do they you were call that oh, this isn't volleyball. <laughs> oh, that's the one. Yep. Oh boy. So then you would play beach volleyball just to see. <laughs> that that it, they were getting up on. It the... wasn't beach volleyball. It was a fighting game, but like. But they would be on like the oh, beach. The setting like, would be. Yeah. It was it very real. Like everything moved in when they, when. Uh, in wait. The, in the zone. Oh look, look. my god. Type type in uh, intro video. Wait, that is hard. You know, like the <laughs> intro when you started up. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think we we're gonna get there. I didn't. I mean, think we were gonna this get this there. is hentai. Play, play, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Play the. Yeah, play the intro of it. Never heard yeah, just go to this. video real quick. So this is what Heath and I saw before we bought the game. <sighs> Boys are gross. <laughs> like that is Could that space is right. It was a different time. It was a different time, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> <gasps> what? Like this is what we were playing when we were in elementary school. Like <gasps> oh <my> god! <laughs> no way! Uh, Crazy! It's a. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I don't remember Wait, showing what? this much. Oh. I didn't. I didn't have the extreme volume. Whatever this was, this was different. Yo, but the other one was like she was naked and she just jumped off a cliff. And this girl's waking up in oh, bed. Oh, that's naked. Nina. I love Nina. I thought this game. <laughs> this game's about volleyball. It, oh no, it's not volleyball. It was volleyball themed. It's but it's a fighting. Look, look, look. Yes, like this. Wait, look at her boobs. Oh, I loved her too. Hey! Oh! oh. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Woo! Uh, the little wink. Look at the every. It's so detailed. What it year was like, this? Like, look at everything moving. I did know. They still make I the, did they play it. this game in VR? <laughs> oh, I loved her too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Zane, his favorite. The modest one. <laughs> the, oh, no! She, she, she picks her wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh! <laughs> Oh Wait, my, okay, that was a lot. No, this was that was a lot. On Xbox. She just fed her a strawberry Whoa. and sucked the finger. Pete, this is crazy. Like yeah. watching this now. Wait, this is an intro? This is like a. This is like what, like before you played like the start, before you like pick yeah. like, you know. This is long. Like people in high school aren't buying these games. No. Like they're not buying. You these, can download a lot a very, of stuff off Steam. It's these a very. Days. It's a. It's a. Um. What do you call that? that Mortal Kombat saga. Game. What do you call those? Combat. Like, you guys just, are combat. Is it combat? Fighting games. Just fighting games. One v. Those fighting games were more catered to, like younger people because like. In high school or middle school, you'd probably play, play Mortal Kombat if you played that style of game. That high schools weren't playing that so that funny. style. That was like more for kids. So they were making that shit for kids. Are you and, our, and we no, were, it was and a our parents because our parents uh, are buying that shit no for way, us. They were just buying it. My my mom my mom let me play that, but she didn't like understand <laughs> no. what I was playing. But like. That was crazy. I, that I can't was, believe that was a lot. That was a lot. Wow. I can't believe you knew about the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are, you guys are sick. I didn't know you played that too. He's like, I didn't oh. play it. I just watched. Oh, I was playing it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is that's. And that wild. wasn't the only version. They had other versions. They had Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive One, Two, Three, Beach Volleyball. They had like other. What? Other ones oh, too. there was a lot. Of Dead or Alive Strikes Back. <laughs> Dead wow. or Alive. That's funny. I don't we know should do any. a Vlog Squad version. Let's go to uh, Atari and a Vlog Squad for... video game. Mm -hmm. A LAN party that would be so fucking fun. A what? LAN party. What's LAN party? LAN like uh, L A N local area network or something like that. I think you can download it on Steam and we can all play it. You no, know, we could totally like all do it online and yeah. like. He, but we, it's fun like connecting every. We, so you would connect everybody's like Xboxes. internet together. Yeah. Um, oh, and you wow. could all play on like. The same like server, yeah. Huh. Guys, next season we're all gonna. <laughs> we should all play though. That'd be fucking hilarious. That is. So do you pick your Have character and they they fight? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a fighting game. You know, you know when you see the screen and they're side by and side. He's and not really fighting. He's just picking different positions for them. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm doing is turning like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're jumping. <laughs> 
He sets it in like the slow mo. You know when you can like when you like record it, like you Instant can like replay you, no, every you five can, seconds. You can like move the camera angle. And you can, oh, you like stop. <laughs> right, they do instant oh. replay when somebody uh, when somebody wins. They do instant replay. They slow mo replay. Was winning left and right. Oh, this no, is, I was losing, I like, so it was quick. I feel so like creepy, like looking and thinking about this. Oh, we were what? We we didn't know. ten. We didn't know what we were you, watching, right? You, Meanwhile, Mariah's knew. playing no, like didn't. Mystery. Mystery date, like did he mystery date. <laughs> You're going on a mall madness. What, what was the one with the phone and you would call the boys to see if they liked you? What? You I ever don't played know. that Matt, board what game? The fuck? What were you playing? I don't know. Well, girls. There was, don't a, play there was, there was not a phone in, around her with her mom. It was, yeah, a, it was. It was a board That's... game for like girls, and there was a phone, and they would call like, "You went on a date with Brian. You're going to the mall." And he's wait. like, "Hey, pick you up at seven. Wait, what? Whoa. No, I don't know. Come, come on, it was like mystery dream date. I, I feel like oh, I remember saying commercials oh, wait, for dream it. Dream date sounds. Familiar. And it was a phone. Nineties dream, dream date phone I game. I played Dream World. I think that's what it was called. For kids. For like little girls. That's pretty bad. Hey, it's Brian. Pick you up at Zach. <laughs> hey, it's I'm Brian. going on a date with Zach. Want to go to the food Dream court? Phone. Play the commercial for Dream Phone. Is that it? How it feels to play Dream Phone as an adult. Yes, and you would have these girls. God, I can't wait to have a fucking oh. monitor hanging up on the wall. Right. This is ridiculous. Dream Phone. You had the phone, and then you had the boys, and you would pick them, and you would oh, dial it. interesting. I actually no, went to college that. with a girl that. who was in the commercial for That is weird, right? It's kind of creepy. Oh, that's it's like crazy. a Dream Phone How commercial. How they like, kind of branding all of everyone, like... Yeah, Kinda pretty like pretty weird, yeah. Grooming everyone to think a certain way. Imagine them coming out with a dead or alive now for kids. Ooh! Parents would never allow that. I've probably seen a commercial. Oh. Oh, these guys are old. These are, like, what? You have these little girls. Oh, what oh my god. god. They were oh wait, grown. this looks more familiar than it sounds. <gasps> Here. This this looks familiar. Oh my god, that's awful. I went to college with one of these girls. Which one? I don't I can't remember. Maybe her. I remember being Wait, why were those guys like they were like fucking 27 30. years old and then they pan to girls that are like 11. What? Oh hey. my god. That's really funny. It's actually. Kyle. <laughs> Want to hit the food court? Oh my <laughs> yes, god. That's good. What it would be. That would that's perfect. Pick you up at 8. Wait a second. How are you driving? Yeah. She's she's 14. You shouldn't be driving. Wow. That's really that's funny. Crazy. Holy shit. Good times. I feel like we played a lot of Monopoly. Boring. I'm kidding. It right. just takes so hey. long. I love that so they long. have love Monopoly them. now for like your town. Like there's like a Burbank Monopoly that I want to get. Oh, really? It's, yeah, I saw it in cool. a store. Support like, the like, small businesses. <laughs> you the, last, <laughs> the last one I saw was the one with the You bought card Hanks. Came out. You would have put the what, 50 store oh, out of business. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they came out with the ones like, with the credit cards. Too much. The credit yes, oh, that's yeah. so much better. So cool. Yeah. I love that. You can't really steal from each other anymore. And it's so much I know whoever was the banker was stealing. My friends would steal from me all the time. I like Junior Monopoly because instead of going to jail, you went to the bathroom. <laughs> no, <laughs> are right? you serious? I, I'm pretty That's sure pretty on funny. Junior Monopoly. I've never even heard of Junior funny. Monopoly. Detention. I've heard of Junior Monopoly. They had Disney Monopoly. Disney Monopoly. They like princesses. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I had that yeah. one. It's fun when they like change it up, one. keeps uh -huh. it alive. Yeah. We should play Monopoly. I want to no, play. Like... I don't have 20 hours to play Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I do. I'll play Monopoly. I'll play Monopoly. I miss board games. Board I really do. Fun. Why don't we do it? I'm addicted to Scrabble. You know what? Girl, last we played board game, game was with Mariah, the f one of the first times you met her. We used oh, to have yeah. game night all the time. We used to do that a lot at the apartment. Yeah. And we used to play um, Telestrations all the time. Telestrations. Oh, that was fun. We, we stayed in and played time. games That's a lot. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Green Chef. Eating well is easier than ever with satisfied home-cooked dinners and options that work around your lifestyle, not the other way around. And Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating healthy and clean and well, so you know they got the organic veggies and also really high-quality proteins. Guys, you know Heath and I are on a fitness journey right now. We, we are, are tr trying our best. We're trying to eat much better, and Green Chef has literally saved our lives. They have it the helps best a lot. They have the best meals. They they just make it so easy for us to just cook at home and not go out to eat. It just saves us a lot of money and it just it tastes really good. And they're super easy and quick. Yeah. You don't waste food and you get the good stuff. And what I love most about Green Chef is that like the instructions that they give you, like a monkey can do it. A newborn baby can cook these meals. It just makes it so easy and it comes out like you went to a Michelin star restaurant. So if you wanna eat clean and healthy and good like us, 
Baby, you know what to do. Greenchef.com slash unfiltered100 and use promo code unfiltered100 to get $100 off, including free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash unfiltered100 and use code unfiltered100. You're going to get 100 bucks off and free shipping. So thanks again to Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. We love you so much and you guys need to eat Green Chef too. Thank you, Green Chef. We also want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor, BetterHelp. Zane, is there something interfering with your happiness and preventing you from your goals? Yeah. Why don't you tell me about it? I'll tell you later. <laughs> BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist. And what's great is you can start communicating within less than 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help. It's a professional counseling done securely online. And I know we have a lot of viewers from all over, so it's great because this is worldwide. You can log into your account at any time and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't have to go sit in the waiting room and it's uncomfortable and it's dingy and people are looking at you. Do it from the privacy of your own home and feel safe. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp and us wants you to start living a happier life today. So go to betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's better H E L P and join the over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people are using better help right now. They're recruiting counselors in all 50 States special offer for unfiltered listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. Please take care of our babies. It was this. Let me see. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my that's so God. weird to see. It's not that's, what I thought at that's all. That's creepy. <laughs> yes, I remember though doing the hat like, just like I that. I don't know yeah. why. It looks like it's out of like King of the Hill. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. That was your thing? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> oh, that is oh funny. My God. That would just be like that. <laughs> yeah, you know what that reminds me of? The scene in Euphoria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So four years ago, Heath Hedai and me played a game on my channel, and the game was Who Knows Me Better, My Sister or My Best Friend. And that was four years ago, so that, that's a long time. A lot of things has happened. And changed. And changed. So we're going to see, you know, who knows me better. Yeah, Hedaya, Zane's very much flavor of the month. Yeah. <laughs> Hedaya, I, I haven't seen you a lot. I've seen exactly. Heath that's mostly, but fair. it'd be a good test. And to see if I can keep my title as champion. There you go. Only one last time. Because no, he's one last talk time. About that. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Matt ready. and Mariah have some questions. Okay. I will go first. Um, of so you Keith will. and Hadai. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is Zane's favorite restaurant in Florida? That's a really good question. Oh, Heath seems to be confidently writing his answer. Hadaya is hesitating. I'll put this shit in ink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Take I a talk, guess. I talk about it a lot. Take a guess. Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Damn. Blank, All right. Well, Heath? Heath, what do we have? Japan. Nice. Oh yes. So yes. I, I think I've been there. Hibachi Grill? Yeah. Oh, I went amazing. there with you. Is that like I a oh that. moment or like a what moment for you? That was like, okay, I, I feel like I've heard him talk about it once, but I didn't know it was his favorite right. You weren't invited. <laughs> no, I'm never invited. That's probably why. <laughs> Maybe that's why I've never been there Well, there's you. nothing for her to eat over there, so. Mm, excuses. I can have shrimp. <clears throat> All, All right. right next. Question number two. What is Zane allergic to? They're both blank. <laughs> You're not allergic to anything. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is a total guess. Let's see oh. it. Let's see it. I think nothing. We have bees and nothing. nothing. I think I'm, I'm not allergic, allergic to anything. That's what That's what I thought. Oh. I thought, I'm like, if he was allergic to bees, wouldn't we have an EpiPen by, nearby at all times? <laughs> He'd be wearing yellow and black. <laughs> Dude, I've been wearing yellow and black. <laughs> I've never seen him get stung by one. Where so. what you fear? Where you are what you're allergic to. Dude, I got a bee costume in my closet. All right, why you're would right. I have a bee costume in someone that I'm? <laughs> Definitely afraid. Because <laughs> I'm not allergic I feel to like either. Because you're brave. Like, I knew it wasn't any food. That's why I was like, Ow. it's got to be something like weird. Yeah. If there is anything. No, I, 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 I've talked a lot about how I'm not allergic to anything. Yeah, because I'm not allergic to anything either. Yeah. So I know okay. I'm not. All right, it's tied up. All right. All right. Uh, next question is, who is Zane's celebrity crush? I know this one. I know this one. I think I know this one. 
All right, you ready? Ready. Let's turn it around. All right, let's see. Heath has <laughs> nine. Yes. We both have Mila Kunis. Is that I I'm surprised you got that. No, I know. You talk about that all the time. Okay. We're tied. We're tied. Tied ball game, bitches. What right. is Zane's least favorite food? I know there are many. Yeah. But pick one. Mm -hmm. Least favorite food. You want to just guess with me? I'm guessing. <laughs> because I don't know what your least favorite is. Like, but you know what he doesn't like. I know what you don't like. Like okay. I know things that you don't he, like. At least confirm that if she yeah. gets it right. Yeah. I know, like, Are I know you ready? Like ready. This. Let's see it. Egg, what? Eggplants and pickles. <laughs> what? Right. Wait, Papa, you what's, don't something, like pickles. what's something that I'm disgusted every time it's at the table? I'm like, get oh, that away Brussels from me. Brussels sprouts. Brussels oh, sprouts. Yes. Oh. I, so I, there was I like two different ones. Either. One was for you and one was for you. Brussels sprouts for you yeah. and eggplant was for you. Really? Yeah, because I, I talk because every time Bubba makes that fucking I know. upside down <laughs> rice cake, I'm like, get I, the fuck out of here. Why does everything have to be upside down? <laughs> no, that's really good. What my it's, dad makes it's, it's so good. It's like I a, love eggplant. It's a Middle Eastern dish. I like dish. eggplant, but like You've seen those TikToks where like the- Oh, I saw the video of your dad doing it. Yeah, that was a meal. Eggplant's like a main ingredient in that. I love it. It's not a main ingredient. No, they can switch it for cauliflower. Baba does it sometimes. It's like chicken and rice. That's like, I mean. Huh. huh. Yeah, I definitely knew Brussels sprouts. That was, that was pickles. A, I would have oh thought Brussels sprouts. You don't like pickles. That's surprising. Yeah. yeah. You don't like pickles? No. I love pickles. I you were projecting. Pickles. Pickles I was projecting. Good. I was pickles putting so my. Good. Straight out of the which caused you, yes. Which caused you a point. The which point. caused me the lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hedaya um, is in the lead. Okay. All right, next question. What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to Zane during school? Oh, he talked about this. I can't even remember. I know this is like one thing. I don't know if this is like the worst, but I know you've like talked about like I might how horrifying it was. <laughs> <laughs> if it was horrifying, then that's probably it then. I'm gonna just give it to Heath. Because Let's see. Right, you, you have anything? Um, no, I can't okay. think of anything. Out of I was before. trying. <laughs> I was trying to remember her name, but the girl that you always talk about getting beat up by. That's oh, what I was that thinking was, of too. No, that's that's pretty embarrassing. But no, that to me that's not embarrassing. I just got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> she was stronger than me. So what was and it? And she was two grades higher. Remember in middle school when I pooped my pants? Oh my... <laughs> what? He's like, I never talked about that. He never that. talked about it. No. no. What? What? I'm a fucking idiot. You've ne I mean, it, no, it wasn't me. Oh, was it a friend? It was somebody pooped in the class and I gave him my pants. I <laughs> Wait, oh. that's even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> the most Zane, embarrassing thing that ever happened to him no, was not even I mean, him. Yes, no, actually funnier. The most embarrassing thing was I I thought that I pooped my pants and I Wait, didn't. but you had a, you were weren't wearing pants. No, in so in middle school, a girl, <laughs> Heath, you know her and I, I can't say it here though. A girl pooped a girl pooped her pants and I I had to take off my pants and give it to her. Why'd you have to? Cuz she was a gentleman. Uh, she was cuz she was um pretty. No, she was just like just one of the popular girls, and I I felt I think that she. It was something where I just felt like I had to. We weren't so even what really pants friends. Were you wearing the then? Her poopy, had it. her poopy pants. <laughs> her, her poopy, That's why he thought he pooped his pants. Her poopy limited two pants. Her limited poo <laughs> pants. Juicy couture. Yeah. Poopy couture. I cannot believe Stop. I put myself in that story. I Wait. like completely forgot. Yeah, but I still have more questions. You took your so pants the, the, off. Yes, so in middle school, this girl pooped her pants and then <laughs> I had to give my pajama pants to her, but. So you went to the bathroom. I don't know what pants I was. I was definitely not wearing her shit because it wouldn't even fit. Maybe me, you, you know had I mean? something for gym that you changed. Yes, I had, I had gym class. So I put my shorts on. Oh, that makes sense. And I was I, like, we're just walking around with no pants. The, the teacher allowed me to wear it because I think I came up with an excuse myself on why I had to change. But I didn't. I don't think I said I pooped. I, maybe wow. I did. I always said she pooped her pants and I gave them to her. Like, why wouldn't you just yeah, tell the I, truth? Yeah, but like yeah. that's something you just don't. That will like spread. How, it was something we had to keep secret. Teacher. It was S spreading all right. Sisterhood of the traveling <laughs> boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Sisterhood of the traveling booby diapers. Jesus. Oh, fuck. That's boy. so fuck. Um, damn. I, you know what? That's you get pretty that funny, because though. I fucked up. No, it's but that's okay. still a good story. It was yeah. funny. And it I didn't even, that, was, that wasn't even me. That is funny. So yeah, you, you, Heath, you get that. You get that for you both, They both okay. get a point? No, just no. Heath, because he at least answered something. Up. Okay, so we're tied. Okay. Um, if, if, I would say if I did, if I remember that wasn't fucking me, I would probably say tampon, me choking on a tampon. Right? Oh, yes. I, that was a story. Yes. Yeah, but I didn't, so. 
You get that, Heath. Good job. How the fuck? That's a point for try. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I flipped the script on that. I, that's crazy. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> Fred. Okay. <laughs> Fred. What does Zane dislike the most about himself? I feel like I have that. You picked up your markers too. quick, huh? <laughs> I me too. We all say things that are. He's like, it. I actually really like that about myself. <laughs> he comes up with a list. It's like a bullet. His ears, his neck. <laughs> I actually really like that. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hadaya said hair. He nice. Said hair. Hair. Yeah. Not anymore. I didn't want that to not be a anymore. trick question. I was going to say teeth. Yeah. That could have been a trick question. I feel like not anymore. Two like, years ago, hair. Better. Today, yeah. teeth. <laughs> and when did I say teeth? Every episode. Condensed My yellow milk. Teeth. <laughs> condensed milk condensated it? Is just condensated. Condensated. condensated 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 my milk. condensated teeth next question is what did Zane want to be growing up older stakes are high uh, are you ready three two one photographer and astronaut. astronaut that's every kid <laughs> that's I feel every like kid. on the podcast you've talked about like you when you were a kid you said you wanted yeah, to be an astronaut like no i know i feel no i said that's what all kids want to be when they're in school no i remember because i remember being like zane an astronaut no way are you there's no way wait there's so i feel like there, there was, was never a part of me that something. would that want to be an astronaut as a kid was i don't know why i feel like i remember silly? that I thought that's silly. No, it's not silly. No, this was firefighter. No, because I, I remember going to Wanted City and I did it and I was like, oh my oh, god. Oh, grocery, I do this. the grocery bag person. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he say that? I think he said that. Oh my god. Did you want to work at a grocery store? No, no. Oh, the guy who does the fossils, the bones. No, no, no. Dentist. Paleontologist. Dentist. A dentist. 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 I, I love that the most. That one, that, that one was a little hard because. Oh wait, I don't no, that was my other it. friend that wanted to be a dentist. <laughs> I wanted. It was, to be... I messed up. It wasn't me. It wasn't <laughs> I had off. to go to the dentist a lot. That's what it was. Because uh, you had to go to the golly. dentist. Golly. Okay. No, I think it was just because I was in there all the time, so I started to just yeah. be a part of the environment. <laughs> okay. If Zane wasn't allowed to live in California or Florida, where would he live? In the point. U.S. wasn't allowed. Yeah, to this one, this one, you're just gonna have to Guess. wing it. Yeah, I, I thought, why not throw in a really hard one because we've never talked about this. But well, if I re if I had to pick somewhere, it would probably be this place, th like this state. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Heath has. Chicago. Oh, nice. Hedaya, Texas. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, Texas. Hey. Really? Yeah. yeah. Texas was my first answer, yeah. and then I was thinking like maybe Vegas, Nevada. I Hell don't. no! I would never want to fuck. I'm sorry. Did y'all just bring up the shut state up without me saying? Oh it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Take a shot. Good job. I'm surprised I got that. Have you been why. to Texas? Chicago would have been my second probably because Chicago is great. I feel I'm like. I'm surprised I got that. Okay. Okay. I don't know okay. Why. Okay. I just... Good. Good one. That would have been my second choice. But not as right. good as me because I got it. I know you earned it. You got it. But we've also not how. been to a lot of other states, so you're pretty much choosing from what we've been to. Next question is what is Zane's least favorite type of music? <laughs> All right, flip. Hadaya <laughs> said good. rap and rap. jazz. I feel like you don't like <laughs> country. Is it you country? You both know that. I know. I well, wouldn't know I've... that because when you're in the car with Heath yeah. and a country song comes on, you're singing He's along. Bob, you know why? Because I do it for Heath. That's uh, why. Yeah, I know he at least likes you know it. it. That's love. Zane, you fucking go to Cowboys Saloon and we get down on country all the time. Zane's like, I we gotta go you. to Stagecoach. That's what I'm no, but like, if I had to, if I had to sit and listen to anything, I mean. Jazz, that too, but like I was thinking more like the top, like I was thinking genres. country, but I, I thought you did like country. No, so I was I like, I know that's like my country. answer, but I feel like yeah, there's jazz. probably a total of two country songs that like I I'll, I enjoy, but not no. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Mine is "Get Ready" you. by that's Pitbull love. and Blake Shelton. <laughs> Your favorite country song? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I, <laughs> oh, get ready, bam a lamb. Whoa! <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I've never seen you get down on no fucking jazz song. <laughs> That yeah. is true. I know, I but I love jazz. I, I wasn't gonna put jazz though, because there's like jazz is like I feel like it's part of like. We're not exposed to that. Yeah, we're not exposed to that. What is Zane's favorite dessert? This one you have to like really think. Every question. <laughs> think about it. Okay. <laughs> no, because I was planning on not thinking on this one. <laughs> <laughs> now that you said you know that. what? I'll accept two answers for this. <laughs> What's going on in their brains? Like, 
<laughs> picturing Zane, all these desserts. Everybody was listening, just floating around. You, desserts floating around you. You're like, mm -mm. next. <laughs> um, I'll accept two different answers. I think this is what it's called. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Let's see it. Ice cream, ice cream and, and heat. Cake. Heat. That's good. That's good. Oh, That's good. It? Okay. Buttercream Wait. icing. But Buttercream. Chocolate lava cake. Yeah, those are the two. Okay. Nice. But that okay. that's good but too. But I, 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 you I wrote butter and then I was like, no, I'm thinking about butter chicken. I was like, sweet cream. <laughs> but also, um, I know you both your right. both your cream. answers are another obsession. What your you Cold Stone cake with the ice cream. Because I know you love. Yeah. So another a question that we're not gonna do, but it was what is your guilty pleasure? And it was after the ice cream. That's my guilty pleasure. I wouldn't have got the lava cake because I didn't know you like lava cake like that. Ice cream's good though. Cake. He loves ice cream. So final score tallied tied. up. Yeah. It's tied. Aww. Okay, here oh my, we go. That makes my heart melt. So the love is even. <laughs> Are we doing and a tiebreaker or be. just end it tied? <laughs> what am I thinking about right now? <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh. Buttercream actually ice cream. <laughs> wait, let's do this. <laughs> here we go. Hit, all right, be tiebreaker. No, Zane, actually think of like a word and see who can like, like just pick a word that he's thinking of, right? And then we'll see like who's the closest, like make a crazy connection. Like, like if it's like tree who and- Who decides on the connection, you two? Yeah, 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 we're good. Okay, wait, wait, okay. So I just gotta pick up, yeah. pick, pick a word, okay. okay. Um, anything. Yeah. Are you telling anything? us? He the goes word, yellow. Um, like, this is, this is gonna be that. something that's like a live, a product, just, you know, just anything. Something. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Do you tell us it so we kinda know? Or just close okay, your eyes, close your eyes. Yeah, let me see. All right. All right, you ready? <laughs> All right. Ice cream. This is tiebreaker, guys. Okay. okay. Here we Let's go. Let's see it. <gasps> oh my, oh, kind of like. Wait, 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 wait. We got to give him another, we got to give him another try because I don't wait, think no. any of those. No, tech, wait. if you're really thinking of the closest, She's Hadaya. closest. What was it? No, why? Because it's something you. No. Technically, uh, you, you, it, it's going to be but a No, stretch. no, technically that's close too. If he we're going to really put it into like. have it. Actually, both of them mix. I, I know they good. both mix. So you guys both mix. You both mix. What pick was a, it? Both of you pick another. No, pick another word. Look at me. <laughs> no. Look at me. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, he just sent it. Okay, let's turn it. Let's see it. <gasps> oh. Was, oh my God. That was my first guess. That was like. Wait, okay, wait, 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 sugar. You were gonna write. God, wait. Was it like, was it was Komodo dragon. Oh, really? Komodo. <laughs> oh, I didn't say Komodo. I thought it, it would Komodo be the coffee because it was close wow. to the food. So wow. Very yeah. good. And That's funny. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, off two words, two rounds. We got there. That's and it, good. And if you guys want to buy Komodo, <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're so. Much. You cannot. Very good. <laughs> that was fun. That was so was fun. fun. Hidai, thank you fun. so much for coming thank all you the for way having here. Me, of course. Stay. Really appreciate it. Don't go. When do you leave? I leave Monday night. Oh, nice. No, you know lunch. what we're doing though, right? We are doing everything we can to make you not want to go back to New York. Um, you move here. You move here. <laughs> you move we're here. We're gonna now. manipulate you to move here. <laughs> we're gonna multiply okay? you. You know manipulation doesn't work on me. You should it, know that. It does. No, it doesn't. It does. She's I, above that shit. That's what you think. No, because I'm a little too aware, so I don't allow it to happen. I can mm. tell when they're doing it to mm. me, and I'm just like, oh. love that. It's funny. Well, did it work with the car? What happened? What? The manipulation that I did to you. Saying that was well earned. There was no manipulation. Such a, <laughs> such a shame, because we know a really, really good bakery shop out here that is looking for a head such a shame. <laughs> and they love you do they that's crazy no they want to pay you like 50 dollars an hour right it's fucking insane hadaya where should the people find you who are listening and watching in new what? york she says her straw cross streets <laughs> listening and watching <laughs> avenue w I really my address? Too many white my address? Claws. <laughs> hadaya doesn't really boast anymore but you guys can follow her on yeah, instagram maybe i can start posting again start I'm posting again hadaya, hadaya, you're Hadazi. in new york city nobody know, even knows I just pictures i just don't take pictures. post your concoctions yeah your at least turn your page start... into like a bakery yeah. like a bakery channel or something yeah it's start in only pans <laughs> All right, well, guys, thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Mm -hmm. Episode every single Monday, <laughs> audio. Video goes out every Tuesday. Uh, YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. And go follow us on our socials. Go follow us on Instagram. Check out our Instagram. And comment your favorite quotes that we said on this episode. There you go. And, uh, if you guys want to see Hidaya again next week, let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, we'll be make sure to keep her here as long as we can. 
And yeah. Good night. <laughs> Why Good night. Like, why do I feel like the scene in the Thank Joker you, where New he York. goes? Thank you, New York. Good night. Stop. Jesus Christ, you sicko. Oh, my God. No, it got so silent where I just felt like just a... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh, wow, that was, that, was, that was a dark ending. All right, guys. Good night. Good night. Peace Good night. and blessings. Toodles. Oh.